Welcome to this very special program that we are uh, so invite, uh, excited you're part of our signs and wonders, our miracle service. This is a, this is a time of family time. family time, but it's a special family time because we're talking about salvation, Pastor Gary. Oh, well, first, I'm going to tell you there. Yes. My lovely bride, Terry, is here with us. Welcome. We're so glad you're here this evening for family time. Bring and your family and let's get together. We are. Where family mm -hmm. has called together. We, mm -hmm. we call together and Pastor Gary Mitrix is here, Pastor Amy Schaefer, mm -hmm. and Pastor J. Anthony Gilbert's in the house. Mm -hmm. We're so glad you Pastors guys are with us. This is unusual. That's this right. Is yeah. Unusual. It's wonderful. Well, it's very, it's very special for us because we have these times on special programming where we come together and we do call it family time. It's so what we call our families, our family together, and we say, "Let's get together. Let's worship God. Let's let's hear the word. Let's stretch our faith. Let's talk about ministry. Let's open up the phones." You know, Pastor Gary and Pastor Jay. Every every weekend we have our signs and wonders program, yes. Yes. and it's a powerful time. It is. It's a time for you just to open up your heart and receive what the Lord has for you. And I love our theme. I love. The theme of the power of the gospel. That's it. The power of the gospel. The power of the gospel is 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 what Paul promised in in Romans one. Let's put that scripture up. I want to I want to show you the scripture. Read this with me. For I, I am not ashamed, ashamed of, of the, the gospel, gospel of, of Christ, Christ, for it, for it is, is the power of God, God for salvation, salvation to everyone, everyone who, who believes. believes. For the, for the Jew, Jew first and, and also the Greek. Greek. Now listen. For I'm going to stop it right there. Listen, we as Christians often walk around in an anemic state. We don't have the power in our lives to do what we know we want to do. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, Pastor Amy, it, it is just so frustrating because we know, but we keep saying, we don't have the power. We should have the power right. of the Holy Spirit to do that. But it's the gospel yes. that gives us that power. So why would Paul write that? For I am not ashamed of the gospel. What he was saying is there are going to be people mm -hmm. who are ashamed of the gospel. And so you're going to need the power. You're going to need to have faith in the word of God, in the promise of God, in the salvation of God. It is the power to heal, deliver, restore, set free, break bondages. I'm really expecting God's going to do something big. In this program right now, in fact, we're going to, as we always do on the Signs and Wonders, we're going to open up the phone line. So put up our, our prayer number. Our prayer partners are standing by right now. In fact, why don't we get ready to go into our prayer room and... Awesome. and Paul, I'm going to go in there. Tom, get ready, Tom, in our prayer room, our brand new, almost Yay. finished, remodeled prayer room, what you've helped us do, That's the right. Bixler Ministry Center. Let's go in and get a welcome from, from Tom and his team. Yeah, we, Dawn, we are so excited. We're here in the Bixler Ministry Center, brand new maiden voyage. It is exciting tonight. All these guys are ready. They're ready to pray with you. And so like we've always had since the very beginning of this ministry, we've had a way for you to connect and a way to receive prayer. Well, we have a special way tonight in a brand new Bixler Ministry Center. So you be sure you call in. Let us know what it is that concerns you. Do you need some people in your in your life to be saved? Do you need uh, family salvation? Do you need someone who's... Uh, uh, in your family, just needs a touch, whatever the need is, just call in to the brand new Bixler Ministry Center while we go back over to Dawn. Well, you know, pastors, it's fun for me because I'm here with them. Terry, we're here with a whole couch full of pastors. Right, the experts. So I'm, I'm, the experts I'm, I'm, I'm interested in knowing, pastors, when you hear the word salvation, what do you think? I'm not ashamed of the power of the gospel because it's the power of God until salvation. What does that mean, salvation? Well, it, it, a lot of times when we think of salvation, we think of you know, when this life is over, we'll spend eternity in heaven. But that word actually comes from the Greek sozo, and it means deliverance. That's right. God yeah. wants us free. That's right. He yeah. wants us whole. He wants us delivered in every area of our life. And that's why the phone lines are open, because if you or maybe a member of your family needs delivered, right. we want you to call right now. And, and tell us their names. When you call in for prayer, maybe it's for yourself. First of all, let's, let's make sure that you understand this is for you. This is for you. It's not just for somebody else. God loves you so much. He knows you so well, and he, he cares about you so much, Terry. He, he, he knows exactly what we need. 
That's right. That's right. Now, some people may think that they are saved. So, well, no, see, how is that? Yeah, that's what I'm going to make sure. Jay, what do you say? Mm -hmm. I'm already saved. I'm already saved, but there's saved and then there's being saved. <laughs> So positionally, we already know we're going to heaven, but the reality is, is God is continually saving us, bringing us into Pastor Gary, that, that sozo, mm -hmm. that abundant life of deliverance, freedom, abundance in finances, mm -hmm. debt free. That's the fullness of the salvation the that we have. That's abundant life. Amen. So in a way you're saying that when we're saved positionally, we're at the, we're on a race and we're at the, the mark to get ready to go. That's You're right. a and new you, babe in mm -hmm. Christ right. and a new babe. You know, you get to grow up in the things of God, the Amen. sanctification right. and justification and righteousness. You learn all of these things as you grow up in the things of God. Amen. But to be sozo, saved, delivered, healed, set apart, set free, man, that's that can happen in an instant. Well, that's and that's our that get ready to say that thought, Pastor. <laughs> we, we are go, we are here to pray with you for the power of God. Mm -hmm. The power of God is in this studio in a very manifest way. He wants to touch your life. He wants right. to set you free. He wants yes. to give you that power. Come so on. you can't yes. do it in yourself. Yes. You can't live the kind of life they're talking about in your own power. Right. So, Pastor Gary, what, what, what's on your heart? Well, I was just going to say, someone said to me once, I gave my heart to the Lord. And I said, well, that's great. Now, what about the rest of you? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Well, you know, we want, we want Amen. you to walk in abundant life. Amen. Right. You know, we talk about that on Real Life all the time. We want you to live that kind of life. So call mm -hmm. us right now, 888-665-4483. And, and just say, I need you to stand with me. Yes. Or, or let's pray for, pray, please pray for my friend or my mm -hmm. neighbor or my son or my daughter or my grandson or my granddaughter. They're off the path. They need to get back on the path. When you pray, they're going to write their name down and we're going to close this program in unified prayer. We're going to lay hands on and believe God for the power of God to fall on their life. Nothing is too big for God. Nothing no. is impossible for Him. Nothing's impossible. Nothing's impossible. Nothing's impossible. And you know what? What a wonderful way for us to pray and seek God is by having music Amen. and worship. Hallelujah. And so we invite you to come worship with us now with Jaron Davis and Kindred Souls as we enter in the throne room of praise. It's going to be a good night. Welcome to the first night of an awesome week. We agree, Don, that it's going to be a powerful outpouring. And here's how you get into the presence of God. By entering His gates, with thanksgiving. Come on, let's sing the word. Let the mountain, let the mountain and the trees, and the trees, let the river, let the river and all the sea, and all the sea, all creation, all creation, give and pray, give and pray. Declare his goodness, declare his goodness in all your ways. Praise the 
tonight is going to be. And I believe not only are we going to see God do great things, but I believe somebody's going to discover that their name has been written in the Lamb's Book of Life because of this broadcast tonight and the rest of this week. And we are believing that somebody's going to be able to say, I have not forgotten, I will never forget the first time that I discovered God's amazing grace. It's going to be powerful tonight. If you don't know Jesus, this is your best opportunity to have your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. If you know somebody who doesn't know Jesus, call them and tell them to get on watching this show right now. I was bearing the scars of the infinite wars that had crushed me for so many years. I was bleeding and bruised from the hurt and abuse that it cost me a million tears. All the winds and the rains, like a hammer of pain, had etched lines of grief on my face. But the past was released, and it all turned to peace the first time. That I came to grace. And all things were passed away, and all became new. My heart started singing, the clouds broke, the sun came through.
Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Worship Praise the Lord. is in the house. Amen. <laughs> that Amen. is awesome. We, awesome. We, we, we invite you, if you've just tuned in, this is a very special family time here at the Cornerstone Network. It's where our family gathers are together and we pray and we worship and we celebrate what Jesus is doing in our life. And this whole week, we are celebrating the abundant Ooh. life. Yeah. And that, the scripture that says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. For it's the power of God to, unto salvation. And, and Pastor Jamie, we're talking about salvation, meaning from the beginning to the end. We're not finally saved until Jesus comes back. Amen. Well, I'm so glad that we have that abundant life and that it's available for us in every area of our life, whether it's in our minds, in our finances, in our ministry. God wants you to exceed and to excel greater than anything you could have imagined, asked, or think. And he wants us to have that abundant life. Well, and our phones are open right now for prayer. Call 888-665-4483 or go to our website, ctvn.org, or send a prayer request to family at ctvn.org. And I, I, I just want to tell you, we are, we, the prayer room is just rocking. Mm -hmm. Rocking. We're so glad that you're calling. If you get a busy signal, try to text, try to email. But keep trying the phone line because we want to get through to you. We believe that this is your time for a breakthrough. You know, in our country, which is so divided now with mm. hatred and all the, all the ugliness yeah. that we see all around us, this is the time for Christians to stand together. Mm. This is the time for us to push aside all the differences and come together over our, 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 what we have in common, and that is the love of God and the, and the presence of His Holy Spirit. We've got some prayer requests. Anna's going to bring in some prayer requests. Anna, Yes. What, we what, have the phones are ringing off the hook we'll turn, back there. Turn around here so people yeah. can see. Yes. It. What so kind of like we've for we've got for emotional health, mental health, physical health, spiritual health. So the whole person prayers well, for the whole person. Mary's pray is it's called for prayer for yeah. her and for breakthrough and afraid of drugs for her daughter. You keep Anna's our prayer connection from the prayer room. Mm -hmm. Keep bringing things out to us. Yes. We're going to collect these on the set and at the end of the program, we're going to pray prayer of faith over everybody's prayer requests. So mm -hmm. keep them flowing, Anna. Yeah. Keep, keep them flowing. Absolutely. Now, Jay's got a special word for us tonight. God's given you a special word. Now, I know it's God because Amen. of the way he did it. Amen. <laughs> the way God does things, there's no mistakes. Right. Give us a little tease or a little hint about what you're going to be teaching us. We know I'm going to talk to some people that are desperate. Some people that need a breakthrough, that are at the end of their rope, people that are looking for God to move, people that have had a promise hanging over your head and you feel like maybe you've been forgotten about. I want to let you know that everything you need for your breakthrough is already in your hand and that it's time for a new season, not just for you individually, but I believe even for the body of Christ, it is time to shift to another level. And I believe God is saving the best anointing for last. Amen. And I believe that it's now. Hallelujah. Wow. I can start preaching right now, mm -hmm. but we, we want to keep the phones open for just a, a little while longer. Right. Let's take advantage of the, this opportunity. Pastor Gary, the word says, draw an eye to God while he, was, while he is close. This is a time for ministry. It mm -hmm. is. And, and, and when you, Pick up that phone. What you're doing is you're releasing your faith. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's right. And a prayer partner's on the other end coming into agreement. And there is such power in agreement. Agreement yeah. is the place of power, oh, isn't yeah. it? Oh, yeah. Actually, God says, I'm going to command my blessing when Amen. there's agreement and unity. Man, and I believe there's someone tonight, and I think you're a mom, and you're believing God for that son or daughter. Can you call tonight? We are believing right Amen. now for his or her salvation for such a time as this. Today is the day of salvation. Give us a call at 888-665-4483. We want to believe God for a miracle Amen. in your house. That's you right. know, the Lord brought that scripture in Romans to me at the first of the year. Terry, you remember that? And, and I said, God, in Romans 1, 1 uh, verse 16, 17, and it says, I'm not ashamed. And I said, God, are you telling me I'm ashamed? And I started rattling off all my things that I've done for the Lord, you know, oh God, you know, I've done such and I've done so, and I'm not ashamed of you. And, and then his spirit just quickened me and said, you're, you're not ashamed of me. You're not ashamed of Jesus, 
but you don't you get ashamed of of the message of the lifestyle of being a Christian. Mm -hmm. You get I got come this confession. I got comfortable kind of being in the ins and outs. You know, one foot in the comforts of the world and one foot in the ministry. God wants all both feet in the ministry. He wants us both mm -hmm. feet dedicated to Himself. We we die for Jesus, yeah. but we got to live for Him. Amen. See, that's the thing. We got to live for him. Our country is falling apart because the Christians aren't shining the light. So it's mm -hmm. time for us to stand together. Pray. Let's stand together in prayer for, for your family, for your friends, Amen. for you yourself, Pastor Amen. Gary. There are people watching right now that don't know Jesus. If they died tonight, wow. they wouldn't know mm -hmm. that they'd go to be with the Lord. That's right. Mm -hmm. And that's why God raised up this television network mm -hmm. right. over 40 years ago, wow. gave the vision to Russell and Norma Bixler so that this could be a shining light to the whole world. Mm -hmm. And you know, Dawn and Terry, what I've always respected about Russ and Norma is they always stood for the full gospel. That's right. They Amen. never yes. compromised. Amen. They believe in salvation by the blood of the Lamb. They always preach the baptism in the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Russell was a significant leader in the charismatic conference yeah. right here in Pittsburgh. They believe in divine healing, which we still yes. pray for mm -hmm. people today. Mm -hmm. And they believe in deliverance mm -hmm. to be set free from addictions and the power of the enemy. And they believe that Jesus is coming back soon. And they've mm -hmm. never compromised that. Right. And you know that same message that same mandate, that same mission that presses them forward, press them forward, presses us forward. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. Amen. Nothing's different yeah. about Cornerstone Sorry. today mm -hmm. than 1979, except for technology and, mm -hmm. and being able to reach out across. Mm -hmm. And by the way, thank you partners for That's making right. the Bixler Ministry mm -hmm. Center a possibility. We are well on our way. I'm gonna show you in there in just a few minutes. I'm gonna show you what your faithfulness in giving has done with the Bixler Ministry Center. We're in there taking, I love, I love the sound yes, of the phones right. ringing. Amen. That's right. You, you can't hear, but off to the set, we can hear the phones that's ringing. Right. Yeah, and that right. just stirs my heart because that means every phone is a person. Yeah. Every person is someone that God loves dearly and gave himself for. And there's a connection being happened in right. Terry and that connection in the spirit. What is it that? Well, I just really feel that there's some of you that are watching and you don't feel worthy to pick up that phone because you feel that God's not happy with you and you're just um, not sure that God even hears your prayer. Well, I just want to encourage you that guess what? Salvation is not based on what you do. You know, it's not based on your works. It's based on God's grace. It's a gift. And so just take, pick up that phone, call us now at 888-665-4483 and let's pray with somebody as we were sharing about the power of agreement, a power of two. And if you have a loved one and if you're concerned for your family, you know, God and God's going to meet you as you call today. I'm really I really believe that as you call and as you talk, you're going to sense the power of the Holy Spirit in your life. And that's going to encourage you to know that God loves you. Hallelujah. God loves you. Your salvation is secure in Him. And together, Thank guess you, what? You can pray for your family. Amen. You can pray for your friend, for your neighbor that really needs salvation Amen. too. You know, Billy Graham, when he would open up the altar for prayer, he, they would always sing, just as I, I am, am. Right. I come. And that's, yes. we want you to come yes. just like you are. Right. And God's love is not based on your performance. That's right. It's based on what Jesus did dying on the cross for our sins. God's love for you has nothing to do with you, your works, your goodness, your badness, your darkness, your lightness it has everything to do with Jesus that while we were in sin, Christ died Amen. for Amen. us. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's such a great evening, such a great program. And I'm so glad that you've tuned in to be part of it. Now, there is no co coincidences in God's kingdom. God is in complete control. He's brought you here right now Amen. with us to connect for a reason. God doesn't waste anything. He doesn't That's waste right. a minute, a right. second. God is precise and he's detailed. So That's as we talk with each other and, and we share with each other, the word of God, here's how it works. The word of God goes out and you hear it and the spirit of God anoints it. Mm. And when he anoints it, he causes it to pierce into your heart mm -hmm. and then he motivates you in the spirit to make a decision, yeah. to, to take a step. And that's all we're asking you to do is take a step. Right. Take a step for a loved one, 
Let's take a step for yourself. Why don't you take a step for our country? Why don't you, yes. why don't you say, I'm praying mm -hmm. for our country. I, mm -hmm. I believe in salvation for our nation. Our nation needs to be saved. How are saved? Nations can't be saved. No, nations can demonstrate the power of God. Nations are just people, groups of people who stand together in unity and say, this is what I believe. This is what I trust. This is the kind of world I want to live in. So we encourage you. We just got a few more minutes and then we're going to go back into a season of worship. And then Pastor Jay is going to deliver the word. And I'm excited, brother. I'm excited to hear what God has given to you to share with us. But before we do, you know, I want to say hi. I know a lot of people are watching. But I want to say a special hi to Larry and Sandra Sims. Hello. <coughs> Hello, Sam. guys. Hi there, guys. We miss you, and we're so glad yes. that you're doing so well. We miss, we miss seeing you guys, and we mm -hmm. say hello to all of our friends. We can't see your faces, but we know that you're watching, and we just say that we love you. And all of our new friends that we see out and about, mm -hmm. yep. this program is for you. Yeah. If you want to move, Pastor Gary, in a way that you've never moved before, if you want your faith and your life to count for something that it's never done before, you want to see a turnaround. You want to see your life rise up to a level that you've never had before. Tonight's the night. Yes, it is. So are you ready for the word, Amen. the power of the gospel? Let's pray together. Welcome the Lord wherever thank you are you. watching right now. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for your yes. presence. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Come, Holy Spirit. Yes, God. Lord, we know you have permeated this studio. Permeate every home. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Every hospital room, every nursing home, every prison, every place where people are watching right now. Yes, God. And Lord, anoint Pastor Jay. Yes, God. And as the word goes forth, we know it will not return yes, void, yes, yes, yes. but it will accomplish what you've set it to perform. Confirm your word yes. with signs yes. and wonders yes. and miracles yes, God. and have your way Hallelujah. as we celebrate the power of the gospel Hallelujah. of Jesus yes, Christ. Yes, God. Amen Hallelujah. and amen. Amen and amen. There is no other power as great as his. Nope. He is all powerful and his, his mercy endures forever ever and mm -hmm. ever. Well, I, I th are, are we getting ready for the word? Is that That's where right. we're going? Mm -hmm. We're getting for the word? Okay. okay. Well, let's That's get ready. Well, Pastor Jay, I don't know how, to, how else to say. This is live TV, so why don't you, <laughs> why don't you just get Lock up? Lock and load, ready your weapons. Get up. <laughs> Move on amen. over to the podium. Amen, and I'll get amen, my amen. Out. <laughs> well, praise the Lord. Oh, okay. I see. Praise the Lord tonight. I'm so glad to be with you all. I'm so honored to be able to be a part of Cornerstone Television Network. And I'm so excited for this opportunity tonight and for the word of the Lord that I feel that God has put on my heart for you tonight. And as they said before, you're not watching by accident. You're not watching by happenstance and it's not a mistake. And I believe that tonight is a divine appointment from God for you. You haven't tuned in by accident. And whatever you're in right now isn't by accident as well. God has positionally put you in the right spot at the right season for the right time. So don't stop calling. Keep on calling in because this is your night for a breakthrough. I believe tonight that we are on the verge of a major season change in the body of Christ. I believe it is time more now than ever before that we see a shift in this season. And if you're watching right now, I believe that there are many of you watching that need a season change in your life. You need God to do something tonight. That's why you're tuning in. You've got issues going on in your world that maybe nobody knows about or everyone knows about. But Jesus Christ tonight is sending a word and the power of the gospel is available to break you through and to set you free. And I'm going to be looking tonight in the book of Exodus chapter number 14. And it's the story of the children of Israel. And it's a story of them when they were moving out of Egypt and they came out of Egypt and then they were headed towards the Red Sea. And while they were headed towards the Red Sea, the Bible talks about how Pharaoh and his army came out after them. 
You know, it's amazing how the devil will fight you to come out, but he'll fight you more when you're getting ready to go into something. You can always set your clock by trouble. You can always set your clock by what the devil is attacking in your life. You say, well, why is that? Because the magnitude of your blessing is always determined by the level of your opposition. And the devil will fight you when you're getting ready to come into something brand new. And I believe that there's some people watching tonight that God is saying, you're ready for something new. You're ready to go into another level. You're ready to go into another dimension. Even in our government, everything that's going on with Judge Kavanaugh and the storms that are heading, heading down the east and we just had the hurricane coming through and all of these things, it's all a sign that God is positioning people and God is moving in a supernatural way. I believe that storm, Florence, that came through, I believe with all of my heart that that is a sign of something that's going on in the heavenlies. And if you have been encountering storms in your life, then you are in the right place at the right time. If you know somebody tonight that needs a breakthrough, that needs deliverance, that needs the power of the gospel, I want to encourage you to Facebook them, FaceTime them, whatever you got to do, tell them don't miss this word because tonight God is going to open up a door and a window in your life and take you out of one season and bring you into another season. The reason why you are encountering everything that you are encountering right now is because God is ready to take you to another level. And what's amazing is God brings the children of Israel out of Egypt, delivers them by the blood, and then he brings them up to the Red Sea. And what's amazing is that whenever you're getting ready to go into something, watch this, the devil will always be up to something. Whenever you're getting ready to go into something, the devil will always be up to something. But he brings them out and then brings them to the Red Sea, a place where they can't go any further. And that's where some of you are right now. You're in a place where you cannot go any further. You, you can't go any further. You need God to move right now. Just as I was sitting over there on the pod, I said, I'm going to speak to some people that are desperate tonight. You need a breakthrough in your life tonight. You need God to do something supernatural in your life. And what's amazing about God is that he will bring you to the door of window and opportunity in a place where you don't even have what you need in order to go to your next level. You don't even have what's, what's necessary in your hand at the moment, it seems, to take you to that next dimension and into that next place. But I want to read something to you. Exodus chapter 14, verse number 1. It said, Now the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, that they turn and camp before pi Hahirath, between Migdal and the sea, opposite baal Zephon. You shall camp before it by the sea. For Pharaoh will say of the children of Israel, they are bewildered by the land. The wilderness has closed them in. Then I will harden Pharaoh's heart so that he will pursue them. And I will gain honor over Pharaoh and over all his army that the Egyptians may know that I am the Lord. And they did so. Isn't it amazing here that God said, I'm going to call you out into a place. And then he said, I'm going to cause Pharaoh to harden his heart. And he's going to pursue you and come after you. Now, notice there, God never spoke to them about what he was going to do. But he said, he's going to pursue you. And this is what he said to him. He said, Pharaoh's going to say, the wilderness has closed them in. And I believe there's many of you watching right now, whether it's in your marriage, whether it's with your children, whether it's in your business or in your ministry, that you're hearing voices in your head saying, it's closing in on me. The walls are closing in and you feel like you're not going to get out of the situation and nothing is going to change. But God spoke to me to tell you tonight that when the devil tells you that things are getting ready to shut in and shut down, that God is setting you up for a breakthrough in your life. You know, it's amazing that whenever things begin to dry up in a person's life, it is always a sign of a season change. I love the story about Elijah when Elijah prophesied the drought. And he said, for three and a half years, there's not going to be any rain according to my word. And what's amazing is when you prophesy a drought, you got to live in that drought. But once the drought hit, the Bible says that the word of the Lord came to Elijah. 
I'm so thankful that even as we said before, when you're being saved, the word of the Lord will always come to you when things begin to dry up. So I want to talk to you for a moment. If you are facing some adversity, you feel like things are drying up, you feel like things aren't going to work out, God wants you to understand tonight that it is not the end, but that he is ready to take you into a new level and into a new season that you have never had before in your life. When things dried up for Elijah, the word of the Lord came. He said, I want you to go to the brook called Cherith. And there, I'm going to command the ravens to feed you. Bread and flesh in the morning, bread and flesh in the evening, and he drank by the brook. But you know what's amazing? The Bible says after a while, the brook dried up. And see, there's some of you right now that things are drying up in your life. Things are, there's an anointing that's right, even in the body of Christ. I believe with all of my heart that the anointing that we have been operating in is not the end time anointing that God wants to release. I believe that the best is yet to come, that the anointing of the latter house is going to be greater than that of the former. I believe this is the season that God is positioning us to receive an anointing that we have never had before in our lives. And when that brook dried up, the Bible says, and the word of the Lord came to Elijah tonight. The word of the Lord is available for you tonight. And it's amazing how God spoke and said, now I want you to go. And I want you to go to the Zarephath. And there I've commanded a widow woman there to sustain you. And I'm going to cause her to feed you. And then God gave him the word. And we know the story about how the barrel of meal and the crucible never ran out. And he said, not until the day that the rain comes on the earth. You know, it's amazing when God is getting ready to change your season, he always brings you to a point where you need a supernatural miracle in your life. When Jesus came to the wedding of Cana of Galilee, the Bible says that they needed wine. The, the parties that they had back in those days during a wedding wasn't a one-day thing. It went on for four, five, six, sometimes seven days at a time. They had all types of party. And when the wine ran out, then the party was over. Some of y'all that have been in the world, you know how it is. When the alcohol ran out, everybody goes home. You know, so the reality is, is God's saying they needed wine and there was no wine. But Jesus was on the scene. And I want you to realize tonight, there's an anointing that you need for this next season. There's a pastor watching. There's an anointing you need to go to the next level. There's an anointing you need in order to get that building. There's an anointing you need to turn around that marriage. And you need wine, and you know that there's more. Just like the children of Israel, when they were brought to the Red Sea, they knew there was more. And I'm here to let you know tonight that God has not brought you this far to leave you. His hand is still on your life. Your best and your blessed days are still out in front of you. God wants me to encourage you today to let you know that his hand is with you. You might have ran out of wine, but Jesus is about to come to the party. Jesus steps into the party with no wine. And what does he talk to them about? He says, whatever he tells you to do, to do it. Jesus didn't even know that his season had changed. It's amazing. His mother came to him and said to him, hey, Jesus, do whatever they need. Turn that water into wine. To give them more wine. Whatever he says to you to do, to do it. And Jesus said, woman, my hour hasn't come. And his own mother had to tell him that his season was changing. I'm here tonight to let you know that I believe for the body of Christ, the season is changing. I believe today in your life that your season is changing. In your marriage, the season is changing. For your loved ones that don't know Jesus, your season is changing. God is getting ready to turn some things around in your life, but the reality, there's an anointing that I believe God is getting ready to release to take you to another level. He's ready to take you to a dimension and to a height and to a depth that you have never had before and God wants you to realize today that he's about to step in on the scene even if the wine runs out as long as Jesus is in the house everything will be all right even if you lose the job as long as you have a word from God everything can be different in your life there are many times we come to certain circumstances situations like the children of Israel were when they came to the Red Sea they came to that place and they needed a breakthrough, but the word of the Lord came right to them in a time when they needed it most. There's some of you that are watching right now that you need a word from God. You know you need a word from him right now or you're not going to make it in this situation. Things are not going to change if God doesn't step in, but God has not brought you this far to leave you. He's still with you and he's ready to turn that water into wine into your life. And I love the story because he brings them up to the Red Sea. And when he comes to that point, 
They don't know what they're going to do. And they act like a lot of us act when we come to these certain circumstances, situations. We don't know how we're going to get through this situation. They begin to cry out and they begin to want to go back. So let's go back to Egypt. Let's go back from where we came. But you know what's amazing? God told them, said, don't look back, but to go forward. I want to encourage you right now tonight that God wants you to go forward tonight. He wants you to go forward with that business. He wants you to go forward in your mind. He wants you to go forward in your marriage. He wants you to go forward in your ministry, in your family. God is not done with you. It is time for you to go forward. It's time for you to rise up and to take a hold of what God is ready to give into your life. And he brings them to the Red Sea. And they're saying, what are we going to do? Let's go back. They start complaining. They start murmuring. Why did you bring us out here to die? And what's amazing, Moses then speaks to him and says, listen, be of good cheer. God is going to fight for you. But then it's amazing. He turns to God and says, God, what are we going to do? And God says, what are you crying out to me for? Why are you crying out to me? And this is what he says to him. Moses, what's in your hand? What's in your hand, Moses? Do you realize everything you need? To go to your next level is already in your hand. Do you realize everything, you know, it's amazing. Sometimes we're always looking without trying to figure out how we're going to get the next level in our life. I want to let you know right now that everything that you need is in your hand. Everything that you need is in your house right now. Everything that you need in order to get that breakthrough is already on the inside. So I just want you to lay your hands on your belly real quick and just say these words and say, it's already in me. Everything that you will ever need is on the inside of you right now. Take a hold of that blessing. Take a hold of that anointing. Realize everything is on the inside of you. So they come to the Red Sea, and, and God speaks to Moses and says, What's in your hand, Moses? That rod. He says, Raise it up. Raise it up. Do you realize that whenever God wants to bring a breakthrough into your life, everything that you will ever need is already there on the inside of you? It's already there. Everything that you'll ever need is on the inside of your life right now. So I want you to take a hold of what God is saying to you and realize it's already in your hand. The woman, it's Zarephath that I talked about earlier. The Bible talks about how she had that barrel of meal and that cruise of oil. That's all that she had. But the Bible says God used that and made it multiply all the way through that whole drought. God will bring you to a place like, the, like the, the disciples when they brought the 5,000 out to feed them. And they had the loaves and the fishes. And he said, how many loaves you have? I have five loaves and a couple of fishes. And that's all that they had. And God said, what is, and they said, what is this amongst so many people? What is it that I have in my hand amongst so many people? But God said, little is much when I am in it. What's in your hand today? What's in your hand? What's in your house? Everything that you need is already in you right now. What's in your hand? I believe tonight that God wants to send a supernatural breakthrough into your life. You say, what is this about the new season? It's time for a new season because of this. When things begin to dry up, when attacks begin to hit your life, when all hell breaks loose into your life, it is at that point that God is ready to open up another level for you. And God tells Moses, raise up your rod. What is a rod amongst the Red Sea? Same thing, what is a slingshot against Goliath? What is five loaves and a couple of fishes amongst 5,000? It doesn't mean a whole lot in my, man's mind, but God wants you to understand today that little is much when he is in it. And everything that you need for your breakthrough and for your deliverance is already in your hand. So he says, raise up the rod. Raise up the rod. Use what you have right now in your hand to bring a breakthrough. Just like the woman with the, the oil when her, they were coming to steal her sons. Her husband had died, and they come to steal her sons, and they said, listen, we're going to take your sons, and we're going to put them to work because your husband left a lot of debt. And God said to the woman, what's in your house? She said, I got a little bit of oil. That's all that I have is a little bit of oil in my house. And God said, go get a bunch of vessels. Go get a bunch of them and keep pouring it out and keep pouring it out and keep pouring it out. It's amazing they kept pouring and kept pouring. And the more vessels they brought in, it just kept pouring. Why? Because little is much when God is in it. Whatever you have in your hand, you've got to give God something to work with.
Give God something to work with in your marriage. Give God something to work with with your business. Give God something to work with in your ministry. You have to work something. Always, whenever God wants to give you a miracle, he always requires a step of obedience in that what's in your hand. So tonight, I want to encourage you to take what's in your hand and begin to give it to God and watch what he will begin to do in your life. When Moses came to that point, God said, I just want you to grab your stick and I want you to raise it up. I want you to raise up that stick and what's amazing the Bible says when Moses lifted up his stick and when he lifted up his hand the Bible said that the Red Sea began to open God sneezed and when he sneezed the right side went the left side went and the Bible says they went through on dry ground and I believe today that what you're facing God is saying to you tonight that he's ready to bring you into a new season everything that you've been walking through everything that you've been encountering everything that's been happening in your world God saying it's not the end don't you throw in the towel. Don't you quit. Don't you back up. This is the time that God said, I'm ready to bring you into another level. I'm ready to bring a fresh anointing into your life. I'm ready to bring that business into your life. Things that even seem like they are dying. God says, I am ready to resurrect those things. Some of you are sitting on dreams right now and you say, I don't know if it's ever going to happen, but God said, it's time for you to dream again. It's time for you to believe again. It's time for you to trust again. It's time for you to believe that this is my time, my season, and my moment. I know that Pharaoh's army's closing in on you and the Red Sea is in front of you, but tonight, God's saying, what's in your hand, what's in your spirit, what's in your house, as you raise it up, the power of the gospel is going to open a door and a window for you, and you're about to walk into a new season on dry ground. I feel you, Holy Ghost. I hear you, Lord. He's saying that even in this transition in your life, it's going to be a smooth transition. I'm here to prophesy to you that what you think is so hard is going to be easy. What you think is so difficult, when God is in the midst of it, he's going to take your loaves and fishes and he's going to multiply. He's going to take the little bit that you have and he's going to do much with it in this season. I believe even the church, the motley crew that we are, this is going to be our finest hour and God is ready to turn our water into wine and even those of you that have been preaching the gospel, God wants me to let you know that you haven't preached your best message yet. You haven't won the most souls that you're ever going to win. You haven't laid hands on the sick and seen them recover the way that you're about to see it. The best is yet to come, but God is saying what's in your hand. He'll start with the little bit that you have. Oh yes, I feel that in the house tonight. He goes to him and says, go get the water. Going back to the wedding of Cana of Galilee, you see me jumping around a lot. There's a lot of stories in there God's been speaking to me out of. Goes to him and says, go get the water. What in the world is water in washing pots going to do when you need a miracle? Nothing. When Jesus ain't at the party. But when Jesus is in the party, he has the power to turn your water into wine. God said some of you have been facing flat situations. But God says when you take what's in your hand and what's in your house and you give it to me, I'm going to take what's flat and I'm going to make some bubbly out of it. You need to realize there's some spiritual Dom Perignon that God's about to put into your life. God's about to take what's been flat. I even feel this for the church. I don't know about y'all, but we need a greater anointing. Even as Brother Don mentioned, we need the power of the gospel like never before. We see homosexuals running out of the closets and Christians running into the closet. But we need the power of God to be bold in this season. We need the power of God to see this opioid epidemic broken in the name of Jesus. We need the power of God to see people that are dealing with mental health problems broken and teenagers that are cutting themselves. Let me tell you something. I'm all for lights and smoke and fog and all sorts of great programs. But ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. It's never a replacement for the anointing. It's the anointing that destroys the yoke. It's the anointing that removes the burden. And I don't care how young your kids are, when they come in contact with the anointing, it'll bring them to their knees. They'll be weeping and you won't be able to understand it simply because Jesus has stepped into the party. And I don't know about y'all, but I need Jesus to step into the party. I need Jesus to step into our church. Cornerstone needs Jesus to go to another level. We can't use the anointing and we had from last season. We need a new anointing in this season. And that's why the devil is fighting you so hard is because there's a new anointing that's getting ready to be released into your life. There's a new 
power. There's a new level. There's a new wine that God is getting ready to release into your life. And the level of your opposition is determining right now the magnitude of the blessing and the anointing that God is getting ready to release into your life. I believe that today. We need the power of God. That's why I'm so proud of Cornerstone Television Network because we're not ashamed of the gospel. I love the fact that Brother Don and Sister Terry will let you preach whatever it is that's in the Bible. Some people, they say, be careful. Censor what you're going to say. But if there's ever been a time that we need to stand tall and to be proud, square our shoulders like a T-rail, and point our finger under the nose of the devil and let them know not another day, it's right now. Right now is the time. And I believe even in your life, God is ready to turn some things around. You are there at a Red Sea, but God's saying, tonight I'm positioning you. I've put everything in your hand that is needed in order to go to the next level. How many of y'all out there right now, you know you need a new level anointing in your life? You need a new level anointing. You, I can't do the ministry God's called me to do in this anointing. I believe it's time to shake off the old wineskin. I believe it's time to let go of the old wine. You know what I believe? We've been trying to go on in the party, but we don't have the new wine. And sometimes the reason why God brings you to this point, he wants you to try everything you could. He'll bring you to the point where you are about to lose your mind. And you have tried, and you have fasted, and you have labored, and you have believed, and you have prayed, and you're still at that Red Sea. But I'm here to tell you, this time, God is going to open that door for you. This is the time. This is the season. I believe even in this week, this is going to be a week of season change. The reason why you are fighting the battle you are fighting, and I felt the power of the Holy Ghost and the compassion of God over me for you today. Even I was riding down 376, I felt the power of God on me saying there are people that are ready to throw in the towel. Encourage them and let them know that Superman is on the way. Get ready because the power of God is on the way. Get ready because America is never going to be the same. Get ready because your church is about to be changed. Get ready because the wealth of the wicked, come on somebody, is getting ready to be transferred into the hands of the righteous. God has been seeing your faithfulness. He's been watching you be faithful. And God says, your best and your blessed days are right now. If there's ever a time to pick up your faith, if there's ever been a time to wash your face and say, God, I'm going to believe believe again. This is the time to believe because there is a new anointing that God is releasing in this season. I believe that with all of my heart. Everything that's going on in the government right now, people say, what's that all about? It doesn't matter who gets in that position. It does matter to God. But what I'm saying, it's not about Judge Kavanaugh or not Judge Kavanaugh. What I'm telling you, there's more than meets the eye. What happened with these storms that come from Florence, there's more than meets the eye. There's something going on in the spirit realm. And I believe that we are on the verge of a supernatural breakthrough that is going to change our lives forever. We, let, me, let me say this. Stop looking back to Egypt. The children of Israel came out to the Red Sea and they wanted to look back. So let's go back to Egypt. Let's go back to where we came. Let's go back to Leeks and Green. Let me tell you something. God wants me to tell you that it's time to go forward. It's time to go forward and believe God again. It's time to go forward in your ministry. And I don't know what your dream is, but I'm telling you today, if I could get down and beg you, I would. Because God doesn't want you to quit. You're too close to your breakthrough. That's why you've been fighting so hard. That's why the devil's been telling you to quit. Just walk out on your marriage. You don't got to deal with that no more. You prayed. He just can't be saved. You, you, just, just quit that job. Just quit that business. Maybe God didn't call you to do that. But this is the thing that I feel God wants me to tell you. There's another level of the anointing that he's ready to release into your life that's going to make you have sweatless victory. There are some doors and opportunities that God wants to open for you. I hear the Lord saying there's favor that he's ready to bring into your life. Favor that removes the labor. That's what you've been battling for, saying, how come I can't get there? And why is it so hard? Let me tell you something. God did not bring you to the Red Sea so Pharaoh could take you back into bondage. He's going to open that door for you. He's going to give you that favor. He's going to answer that prayer. He's going to heal your body. Do you believe that today? God wants to heal you. He wants to deliver you. He wants to set you free. He wants to break you through. He wants to bless your ministry. This is your time, season, and moment. But Pastor Jay... 
It doesn't look like it. I'm at the Red Sea. It's a setup for a new season. It's a setup for a miracle. It's a setup for a double portion anointing. Whenever God takes you to a new season, he will always allow enemies at the gate. He will always allow a supernatural miracle that is needed to transpire in order to get you there. What do you need today? I don't know what you need today, but I believe today God wants to encourage you. I believe today that God wants you to know that this is your finest hour. God wants you to believe today that you're not done. I want to talk to some pastors out there. You've been faithful. You've been preaching. You've been visiting people in the hospitals. Nobody knows your name, but God wants to let you know I know your name. I know exactly what you need. You've been trying to get that building, and you haven't been able to land this yet. God says, I'm not done with you yet. I know the devil's been fighting you, but you keep on holding on. We used to sing a song back in the day, hold on to God's unchanging hand. Hold on to him. I know you've been battling in your marriage. I know you've been battling with your children. I know you're still serving in the church and nothing's working out for you. It doesn't seem like anything is going to change. It feels like the party is going to be over. The wine is running out and I don't have any resources in order to get it. But God says everything that you need is in your house. Everything that you need is in your hand. It's not over till God says it's over. Your season is not over the way the devil wants you to make you seem like it's over. Your life is not over. But God says, watch this, the season that I have for you is over, and I'm bringing you into a new season in this season. I believe that with all of my heart. Even here at Cornerstone, I believe God is getting ready to shift Cornerstone into a whole new anointing and a whole new season. The changes you're seeing in the Bixler Ministry Center are, watch this, watch this, watch this. They are wineskins that were old. The old phones had to go. The old computers had to go. Y'all better follow me right now. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. The old carpet had to go. The old walls had to go. Where things were one season are not going to be in this season. God says, I'm changing everything. There are things that Cornerstone needs. Uh, there's a TriCaster you're going to hear about. There's electronic equipment and cameras. You say, why does the Cornerstone need all of this? Because that was all the old season. And God's saying, this is time for a new season. So as you're seeing Cornerstone morphing and changing, what God is doing, watch this. He's preparing an atmosphere. He's preparing preparing the environment for an anointing that is getting ready to come. God is not changing everything in this ministry to keep the anointing the same. That's why God is changing and morphing and shifting things in your life. That's why God is causing some relationships to leave and new relationships are coming and you're leaving this job and going to another job, moving to this city and moving to that city, Went, left this church to go to another church because God is positioning his people because he's ready to release an anointing for this end time harvest that is going to change our lives forever. Are you ready for it tonight? I hope that you're ready. I hope that you're ready. There's a new anointing that is coming. There's a new power. I don't know about y'all, but I don't want church as usual. I want church unusual. The souls that we've been winning, and I'm not knocking the church, but what I'm trying to tell you today is I believe that there's more. I believe the reason why we haven't seen what we need to see is because God says, I refuse to create a life for you that makes me unnecessary. And if, watch this, before God takes you into a new season, he always brings you to a place to where what you have isn't cutting it. Because he doesn't want you to trust in what you have. It's not about, watch this, pastor, it's not your message. It's not your theology. It's not your degree. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. And no matter how many PhDs you have behind your name, you can have so many letters behind your name that you look like a bowl of alphabet soup. But God's saying it's not enough. You can't do what only Superman can do. Only Jesus can leap a tall building with a single bound. Only Jesus can raise the dead. Only Jesus can heal cancer. Only Jesus can open the eyes of the blind. Only Jesus can turn around your children. Only Jesus can turn around your son. And so you've been trying and clawing and scraping, trying to get to these things. And God's saying, when you're done, I'll step into the party. And I believe this this evening, God's saying, I'm stepping in right now, and I'm ready to turn your water into wine. So the question today is, what do you need Jesus to do in your life? I believe everything that you need is already in your hand. It's in your hand today. I believe that even as Cornerstone is transitioning into a new season, that God is saying it's time for you to transition into a new season. The new cameras, the Bixler Ministry Center, 
the new prayer center that's being developed, the chapel area that's going to be held. All of this is housing a new anointing. You know what I love about the power of God? This is what happened. When they built the tabernacle, the Bible says once they completed everything, the power of God fell that even the priests couldn't stand to minister. When's the last time we had that in our church? I believe with all of my heart that it's coming again. I believe with all my heart that something supernatural is coming into your life and into your situation. And everything that you need is already in your house. So what's the door that you need opened? What do you need God to do for you today? I believe everything's in your house. And sometimes God requires us. Many a time says, what's in your hand? I got a five loaves and two fishes. God says, bring it to me. I believe that when you take care of God's house and take care of God's kingdom, God will take care of you. And this is the word that God gave to me. God says, if you will begin to help Cornerstone go to their next level, help them transition into their new season. God said, the enemies that you have been fighting in this season are going to go away. He told the children of Israel, he said, look back behind you. I just want you to do that by faith. Just look over your shoulder. Look back at all the things you've been through. Look at all the struggles you've been through. God said, look back there because the Egyptians whom you see today, you will see no more. I believe today that if you will grab a seed in your hand, and you say, well, what's the amount I need to give? You need to give whatever it is that God puts on your heart. But I want to challenge your faith tonight. I want to challenge you today to grab a $1,000 seed. A $1,000 seed. For what reason? For what reason? So Cornerstone can go to another level. To keep the gospel going across the airwaves. A couple of weeks ago, we were in here, and the telecaster, the tricaster went down. And you say, what's a tricaster? They'll tell you all about that. I don't know all the details of it, but it's an important piece of machinery, so you can watch me right now and watch all the shows that are going across Cornerstone. It took two hours to get us on the air because it went down. It costs a lot of money to do those things. There's a lot of things that Cornerstone needs to go to another level to keep the gospel of Jesus Christ going around the world. You see what happened with the Bixler Ministry Center. It's the calls that are being answered tonight are a result of your faithful gift. We need you. We need you to partner with us, family. We need you to connect with us. And I believe that the anointing of this new level that's on this house, the renovation that you're seeing in this ministry is the renovation that God wants to bring into your life. And God's saying all the things that you have been through, I'm going to cause those things to cease and desist, and I'm going to open a window for you that the Egyptians that have been harassing your family for years, those generational curses, those family members that aren't saved, God is going to annihilate them, and he's going to open a window of grace and supernatural empowerment and blessing that is going to take you into your new season. Will you grab that gift of $1,000, $84 a month, for 12 months. Would you join with me? I'm going to sow a seed. Would you join with me in order to see the gospel of Jesus Christ preached around? Imagine right now if you turned it on Cornerstone and there was complete static and there was nothing there. Or we had to shut down for a couple of weeks because we didn't have the equipment. God has put you in position saying, if you will take care of my house, I will take care of your house. You say, is this a gimmick? No, this isn't a gimmick. No, you can't buy a miracle. But I'm asking you, where's your concern? Is it for the souls that don't know Jesus Christ? This ministry is preaching the unadulterated gospel of Jesus Christ 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, uncompromised. So we can see the supernatural power of God. I believe even when you sow, the word of God will intensify in your life. You'll be watching TV and God will send people right to this house to speak through that television camera to minister to your life. I believe that with all of my heart. Sow that seed right now. Come on, join with me. Every time that I have sown a seed into this ministry, God shifted me. Let me tell you about a season change. I wouldn't even be here right now if it wouldn't have been for a season change. When I first came to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania four years ago, I took a job here. And my job, I had a bunch of issues. I'm not going to go into all the details, but I had to leave my job immediately because there was a bunch of situations that were going on. And I had to walk off of my job because of a dangerous situation that had happened. And as a result of that, they compensated me a little bit for what I had. But the reality was I didn't know what I was going to do when I came to Cornerstone. And I told Don, I said, Don, I don't know what I'm going to do. He said, well, listen, telethon's going on. Why don't you come on by? And during that telethon, God began to link me with Cornerstone in a greater way than I've ever been before, and I sowed a seed. 
The offerings in my ministry tripled. God began to release me into full-time ministry. I mean, doors just begin to open supernaturally. Every time there's a family time, watch this. It is a window of opportunity that God says, my house needs some resources. And if you will take care of my house, I will open a door for you. What I see is you're looking at an impossible situation. And God says, when you put your seed into the ground, I'm going to open the supernatural up. I'm going to open up the impossible possible. I'm going to open up what couldn't be done, and you are going to walk through on dry ground. God spoke to me this afternoon and said, there's a businessman watching that you have a seed of $5,000 that God's saying, it's time for you to sow. God says, you know there's more in your business, but you can't tap into it yet. God says, as you sow, I'm going to release a greater level of blessing into your life. Pastor, what do you need today? Sometimes a seed will break you through supernaturally. Don't be afraid. I can see right now someone saying, well, you know, I don't know if I have the money. If you don't have the money to sow the thousand, start with a tithe. Give God a hundred. Say, God, I'm going to give you a hundred. And then when the new harvest starts to come in, don't forget to keep on giving. Because see what happens sometimes, you sow the hundred, then God will send you an extra hundred. That hundred isn't for you. That's for you to put more seed in the ground to get to your thousand. He said he gives seed to the sower. And as you keep sowing, I believe that God will speed you up $84 a month for 12 months, $1,000. I believe if you will even start tonight, even if you can't do the whole thousand, say, Pastor Jay, I'm going to believe God for a new season anointing. I'm going to start with $100. Start wherever you can, but work your way up and watch the favor of God be released into your life. I believe that with all of my heart. And if you're watching and you're saying, I can't do $1,000, i will never be able to reach that. Well, then watch you get a gift of $300. So a gift of $300 tonight. Help them with these new cameras that they need. The TriCaster to keep the gospel of Jesus Christ going across. Hallelujah. Right now you're being blessed. Many of you called in looking for prayer tonight. It wouldn't be there if we didn't have faithful people like you sowing. But do you know what's so awesome about God? If you will sow, he's going to multiply it back to you. It's not over. God says when the seed leaves your hand, it doesn't leave your life. It comes back 30, 60, and 100 fold. Right now, come on, grab your seed, run to that phone, 888-665-4483. And I want you to write down, because we're going to pray over that at the end of tonight's, tonight's show. I want you to write down where you need God to bring that new season anointing into your life. I need you to write down where you need God to open a door. I believe there's a lot of pastors and ministers there's many pastors and ministers that are watching the Faith and Family channel, and they've opened up a door for you, and they've blessed you that you can preach the gospel free of charge. Here's an opportunity to say, let me show a seed of gratitude. Let me sow back into Cornerstone. Let me sow back into the gospel preaching network that's winning souls. Over 80,000 calls were taken last year alone. I believe God wants to do even greater. And I believe that there's a greater anointing God wants to release. Come on, grab your seed right now, 888-665-4483. Tell the prayer partners what you need. We're going to anoint. We're going to pray over those. We're going to believe God for a supernatural breakthrough. And I believe there's going to be a new season anointing. Look around. Even as Dawn's going to take you through different areas, you're going to see the changes. And I believe tonight that as you sow, as you believe God and you give, What's going to happen? The renovations you're seeing, look around at your life. A year from now, you won't recognize you. Things are going to be different. Come on, grab a seat right now, 888-665-4483. Let's believe God together for something supernatural to happen in your life. If you can't sow the $1,000 seed, sow a seed of $300. Believe God for the supernatural power of God to break you through in your life. This is your time. This is your season, and this is your moment. Take a hold of it and believe God for a supernatural thing to happen in your life. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, brother. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on over here. Praise the Lord. Woo. Hallelujah. You know what, Pastor? I love what you say. Mm. Just before the breakthrough is the hardest time. Amen. Mm -hmm. Just before the victory is the hardest battle. It yeah. is. And many of you are facing the hardest times of your life. The hardest struggles that you've ever been through. You say, I've never had it like this before. I've, so many people, Pastor Gary, have told me, I've never seen things this, this bad before. 
And I'm not talking about the nation. They're talking about in their own personal lives. Sure. Mm -hmm. Afflictions, adversities. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, I, and I encourage them. I say, that's the best time that's right. for you to real, realize. And these are people who love the Lord. This is people who love Jesus. Mm -hmm. now, if you don't know Jesus, we just had some people who, who we just got testimonies of people who just got saved. <laughs> I'm going to wow. share those with you in just a minute. Awesome. But if you love the Lord and you're in that, in that adversity, that's the time to celebrate. What yeah. did James say? Count it all joy. Oh, joy. That's right. right. Because adversity precedes promotion. Mm -hmm. yeah. That resistance, the enemy is trying to get you discouraged and get you to quit right before God wants to break through in your life. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're encouraging you. Family time is a time when we gather our family together and we ask you to partner with us. Right so that we can remain that vibrant voice, that bright and shining light in these times. If ever our world needed the gospel, the power of the gospel, it's right now. And we're asking those of you that could sow at that thousand dollar level. No. We know everyone can't do that, but if you can do that, if that's in your hand, God never asks you for what you don't have. Mm -hmm. That's right. Sometimes he'll stretch you, right. ask you to do a little bit more than maybe what you thought you were going to do. Yeah. $84 a month. You could put it on your credit or your <laughs> debit card. If you have that thousand dollars or you could get all of your seed into the ground at one time, that would be such a blessing. Mm -hmm. And those of you that can't sow at a thousand dollars, how about that $300 level? $25 a month for the next 12 months. Your partnership is valuable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cornerstone has been here for 40 years, but Don, we want to be here until Jesus comes well, we're back. Going to be, right. We're going to be here until Jesus comes back well, because he's not going to let us go anywhere because the gospel is that important to him. That's right. That's right. I wanted to ask Jay a question. Well, Jay, could she ask you a question? Of course. Well, a lot of times people that go through struggles and things, you know, what you were sharing, they don't see it as a spiritual struggle. They just see it in the flesh. Mm -hmm. So how can you, how do we rise above that? How do we see that it is really a spiritual battle going on? Well, it's really getting God's perspective on your circumstance, you know. Mm -hmm. When you're in the kingdom of God, you have to understand you're not being attacked for no sense at all. There's always something at stake. The Bible says the, the thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Mm -hmm. And so whenever you're facing resistance as a believer, it's always an indication that God's getting ready to do something great in your life. And a lot of times we just need to pray. Mm -hmm. We need to ask God, Lord, show us what we're fighting up against mm -hmm. because he's faithful to show us. And if you're fighting something right now and you're a believer, you're probably fighting something spiritual. Right. And that's why this word has come to you today is because God wants to bring a word into your life to set you free and to release you into that new season anointing. And we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Amen. Our wrestling is not with people or that, that guy who that's won't right. let you get into that building or you, you can't take the next step because of her or him. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities right. and powers and spirits and rulers over this darkness of the world. That's why it's so important to invest. We're really investing in influencing the, the spiritual airwaves. We're taking this out in the air, the gospel right. piercing the darkness with the light. It is Amen. so important. It is one of my favorite checks we get to send every month to Cornerstone Television because it is good ground. Yes, and I promise you will reap a great harvest in oh, your life. Well, well God, God put the law of sowing and, and reaping. reaping. That's right. one of his eternal principles. Yep. Genesis chapter 8, verse 22, as long as the earth remains, right. it's still here. Yeah. It's still here. There will be seed time, time and harvest That's time. That's right, yeah. harvest time. And when you give, yeah. Luke 6, 38, when you release what's in your hand, as Pastor Jay said, don't hold on to it because if you hold on to it, that's all mm -hmm. you have. Mm -hmm. But when you let it go, it doesn't really leave your life. Right. It comes back 
to you good measure, measure. Amen. pressed Amen. down, Amen. shaken together, and running over. And Dawn, here's what the, 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 the scripture says. God will send men and women to yeah. bless you, to favor you, Amen. to give yes. back into That's your Amen. bosom. That's Amen. right. Amen. I was just thinking about the little boy. He had a two-piece fish dinner. Yeah. And so many people, they're eating their seed instead That's of it. sowing it. Give it. Give it to Jesus. That's I mean, you can go eat a Happy Meal and try to be happy. I don't know. <laughs> but do not eat your two-piece fish dinner from Long John Silver. Get it in the hands of Jesus. He's going to multiply it. He's going to use it to help his kids. Amen. Well, and when you, when you invest in Cornerstone, you're investing in the kingdom. Amen. And you know, when you give a glass of water, Matthew says, in the name of a, to a prophet, in the name of a prophet, you share in the prophet's reward. That's exactly just what Gary just said. When you, when you take an investment into God's kingdom, he always pays it back. You can never outgive God. Okay. You can never outinvest God. Listen, if you're looking for the best investment, look for kingdom investments. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when you invest in this kingdom ministry at that $300 level, that $25 a month, I'm going to send you my brand new book, I'm Not Ashamed. It's written about the gospel. It's written about that book, that, that book, um, that verse in Romans 1, verse 16. And it talks, this book talks about strongholds, breaking down strongholds in our lives that have surrounded us by our choices or sometimes through familiar spirits that come through our family lines. You know, we grew up in a way that was very bondage driven. This is a book about how to get that breakthrough, mm -hmm. how to become bold, by tearing down those walls that are all around you, mm -hmm. we're going to give you this book as our gift to you at, at that $300 level, mm -hmm. along with a DVD. The Lord dropped this DVD in my spirit just like that. And I, wanted, I, went, I came in here and I recorded. It's called The Power of the Gospel. Mm -hmm. It's a DVD that talks about the power. Those five areas that God's power is to save, to deliver, to restore. Now listen to me, to heal. And then the power of the gospel that you can learn how to be a giver. Mm -hmm. You know, I think sometimes, guys, that's the biggest miracle of all mm -hmm. because we hold on to things. Mm -hmm. right. Man hoards, listen to me, I'm going to tell you something very, very important. Man hoards, Satan steals, and God gives. Mm -hmm. So how do we line up ourselves? Are we going to line up with God by giving or are we going to line up with the natural man because of fear hoarding or are we going to line up with our enemy? and steal. What does Jesus, what did the Bible say in Malachi? You've stolen from me. And if you give to the Lord, he will rebuke that devourer. Look at Malachi 3. And then at that $300 level, we're all wearing these. I want yeah. you to wear these too. It's, a, it's, a, it's one of those wristbands. There you go. You see it on the screen. It's called, I am not ashamed. Why don't you wear that with great pride and, mm -hmm. and let the world ask you what you're not ashamed of. Mm -hmm, right. <laughs> I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. You wear mm -hmm. that just and it'd be a great opportunity to draw some attention. Let okay. people know where you stand. And that's with your gift of $25 or more a month at that $300 level. That's our way of investing back into you with, with gospel tools. Mm -hmm. Because Pastor Gary, that's what we're about. We're about growing people in, in, the, in the word, growing people in, the, in their call, and then to follow that call into obedience and watch what God will do with them. It, God does honor our obedience. And every time you sow a seed, it guarantees a harvest. If you keep the seed in your hand, if you keep the bag of seed in your garage, mm -hmm. if you keep the seed and don't sow it, you're never going to see that harvest. Right. God wants you to release it. And harvests are not just financial. They, they can be healing for you. They could be restoration for you. God, God can bring that prodigal son or daughter home. Mm -hmm. right. Sow that seed. Go to the phone right now, 888 665-4483, $25 a month for the next 12 months mm. or a one-time gift mm. of $300 or more, you'll receive Dawn's new book, I Am Not Ashamed, plus the wristband. And then those of you, everybody can't do this, but those of you that could plant that $1,000 seed one time or $84 a month. We have a beautiful gift to say thank you I and to show it. our appreciation for your
partnership. It really is a work of art. You can't really see it. Show it. There it is. It is a crystal cross, and it's very weighted. It's a weighted crystal, and I can't. It's a designer, and I can't pronounce his name right. Ole, Ole Cassini. Ole there Cassini. Goes, yeah. There it is. This is our gift to you. It'll be engraved on the front end of it. There, you can't see it there, but. But in, we'll send this to you with your gift of $1,000 or more, or $84 a month. So you see the big pack, that's the, the, all of the gifts that we have for you. We're not giving you gifts so you'll give money. We're trying to encourage you. See, this is about encouraging you to take a step of faith. Yeah. Get up, take a step of faith, mm -hmm. and say to yourself, self, obey God. Because mm -hmm. you feel him inside of you right now. You feel his, his urging for you to step up and to go to that place Pastor Jay was describing to another level right. in your life, a new destiny level, what God, is, what God has got for you. I'd like to start a clock. Let's put a clock up. What are we going to say, 10, 15 minute clock? This clock is the window of opportunity for us to make this mm. choice. So start the clock right now. Fire the clock up. Now, Pastor Jay, you were in your, in your teaching. First of all, thank you. I know. Thank you for bringing that word. Thank you for bringing the passion of the word and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. We do, I do appreciate you doing that. You said something that really sticks inside of me, that the favor of God ends the labor of our work. Mm -hmm. That's right. God's favor stops the labor. Man, that's a good word. <laughs> you know, favor, I say like the favor removes the labor. You know, when we're laboring, we're working in our own strength. Yeah. And that's where some of you are right now. You're working in your own strength. There's pastors, you're working in your own strength. You're, you're trying to get your marriage to work in your own strength. And sometimes it's our lack of obedience that keeps us laboring. But when you start obeying God, it releases the labor and releases the favor. God breaks you free from all the things you've been laboring in. And then now the favor of God, which is what I like to say also, sweatless victory. When you're laboring, it's the product of the curse. You're working under the curse, trying to get things to happen. But once the favor hits, God now works in you and through you. That's the reason why you need to get that seed right now because you've been laboring and trying to get it done and it hasn't been working. But God's saying today, get that seed of $300 into the ground. Get that seed of $1,000 in the ground. And when you do, you're not only going to get these wonderful gifts, God's going to give you that favor that removes the labor. There's 13 minutes and 40 seconds left. Come on and get in right now while the water's troubled and let God remove the labor and let God's favor come into your life. Amen. Amen. Well, guess what? I have a question too for you. <laughs> um, you talked about too, and I missed part of it, is that the level of opposition that we encounter is in direct and I, I, to the magnitude of our blessing, blessing. or our favor even. Mm. Okay, give an example. Well, the, however bad you're being attacked as a person, mm -hmm. like I, I think what you mentioned about pastors, I've been seeing mm -hmm. a lot of pastors that are needing buildings, including mm -hmm. myself, mm -hmm. and you're getting all this opposition. Mm -hmm. It's because there's a level of favor that God is bringing into your life. See, that's why the devil wants to get to, to quit. Mm -hmm. He wants us to throw in the towel because there's mm -hmm. joy on the other side of that opposition. Right. You think it's the end, but the Bible says, Jesus said, who for the joy that was set before him, the opposition of the cross led to resurrection power. Amen. I believe tonight that God is releasing resurrection power mm -hmm. into your life. That's that every it. situation that has Amen. been dead, Amen. every situation, every dream that feels like it's not going to come to pass, God is saying, get your seed in the ground. I am not finished with you. Hallelujah. I'm not done with your church. I'm not done with your marriage. I'm not done with your kids. So God is giving you an opportunity right, right now to get in, put your seed in the ground, and no matter how much you're being opposed by the enemy, know that he's only fighting you because there's a greater level of blessing right. coming into your Amen. life. We have a challenge clock up. The prayer partners are waiting to receive your pledge, whether it's $1,000, $84 a month for 12 months, or $300 one time, or $25 a month for 12 months. I believe in the next 12 Come minutes, on. we Come can on. get 12 of you that can plan at that $1,000 level wow. and 12 yeah. of you to plan at that $300 level. So yeah. come on, get up mm -hmm. off of the couch, get up out of the bed, mm -hmm. get up off of the chair, <laughs> go to the phone, 888-665-4483. Say, yes, 
I'm blessed by Cornerstone. Yes. I enjoy the gospel programs. They feed me. They've yes. ministered to me. They've healed me. Yes. They've transformed me. That is the power Come of the on. gospel. Right. You're not going to find that on Come ABC on, or CBS or right. NBC. Right. You're not going to find that. This is a unique station yes. with an yes. anointing and a calling yes. for a purpose right. to proclaim Amen. the power of the gospel. Right, but we can't do it without your partnership. Right. Go to the phone. Be one of those 12. Plant that $1,000 seed. $84 a month for 12 months. Plant that $300 seed. $25 a month for 12 months. You can put it on your credit or your debit card, or like you said, you can mail that check yeah. in every yeah. month, right? Like yes. Just like you pay all old your school. other bills. That's old school, <laughs> mailing it. I can't believe I still do that. I mail a check in, I admit it. You know, the number 12, just thinking, a girl stopped me yesterday, Sunday, and she said, can I tell you something about Cornerstone Television? She said over 20 years ago, I was going through nursing school and Cornerstone Television was my lifeline. She said, I was believing God and she said, I failed faithfully sent $12 a month in every month. She said, I had nothing. I had nursing school debt. She said, I hung on to Andrew Walmack's teaching on Cornerstone. And she said, God supernaturally paid off my nursing school. And wow. here she is 20 years later. But I wonder if 20 years ago, it felt like $84 a month. Yeah. It was a big yeah. commitment back then. So yeah. I just wonder what God will do if you'll step out in faith, maybe something like a debt that looks impossible, a schooling, a, a, a something is hanging over you like a cloud. And you're just like, I'm trusting you, God. Sow your seed and believe God. I'm telling you, it's good ground. That's, and you know, I talk to folks when we're out and about and so many of you had said you enjoy Cornerstone and it really encourages you. And we're so grateful that you are encouraged, but guess what? We need your help. You right. know, we cannot do programming without financial help. That's I mean, right. that's just how it is. And so to be encouraged by all the different programs and, the, and what you see at real life, it requires financial support. And we need that help. And we're asking you to come along and just join us. You are partnering with us. You're part of our family as you help us out with that. And, and you know, when, when, if I want my car to run like you do, to get to work, to get to church, to get out and about, you got to go to the gas station and you got to take the nozzle and you got to fill your gas tank with gas. Now, for a lot of you, Joyce Meyer, yes. <laughs> that's your gas. Yes. Andrew Womack, Ooh. that's your gas. Yes. Mm -hmm. All of the programs that Cornerstone carries, that's your gas. That's what fills you up. Yeah. That's what keeps you going. Right. But guess what, Dawn? Mm. If there's not the nozzle with the hose that you put in the tank, that gas is never going to make it in. <laughs> Cornerstone <laughs> is that Amen. conduit right. Right. that carries those gospel programs. Mm -hmm that you can be fed, that you can be ministered to. So many of you, maybe you don't even get out to church because you're in a nursing home or you're mm -hmm. elderly. And this is your, I like that yeah. word you use, lifeline. Yes, it's your right. lifeline. Right. But Cornerstone is the conduit pipe yes, right. that is going to bring that to you. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're asking you for your partnership. Well, that's, mm -hmm. that, that, that is exactly the right word, is partnership and ministry. Mm -hmm. Because as you plant seeds, we plant the word. Amen. We go out with the word. Mm -hmm. And so it's a given and a take. And as you grow, we grow. And we go through this as partners in ministry, taking <laughs> the gospel to as many people as we can, as fast as we can. Because brothers and sisters, the time is short. Mm -hmm. Man. The time is right. short. Let me say it again. The time is short. We don't have eternity before us. We have to make these decisions now. We got to take the word out now. We got to take it out with power, not a manby pamby word, but a Come full on. gospel mm -hmm. word. We got right. to emphasize the cross, yes. the Amen. blood of Jesus. Amen. We can't take it off the table. Too many take it Come off on. the table to try to make it an easy gospel. Jesus paid for it with his blood. That's why I picked this cross as our, as our gift to you at a $1,000 level, that $84 a month. The cross 
There's no more powerful symbol in the universe of the power of the gospel than the cross. If it wasn't for the cross, there would be no gospel. Come on. If it wasn't for the cross, there would be no healing. There would be no salvation. It's all in the cross. It's all because Jesus laid his life down. So that's the message of the cross. That's Amen. why when we were talking about the gift that we give you at a thousand dollar level, it was clear. It could be, a, it had to be a cross. And it couldn't be just some little din, dinky little thing. It had to be a cross of, that was substantial. This is, this is weighted. This is, this is heavy. This is real crystal. Mm -hmm. And you're not buying a cross, but it's our gift. When you realize the power of the cross, mm -hmm. the Amen. power of the gospel, then you're going to realize when this sits on your coffee table or on your bookshelf or on your desk at work and you say, wow, that represents Jesus to me. That represents Cornerstone and your partnership and ministry 24 hours a day going out around us, the whole region, parts of the nation and parts of the world with the truth of the gospel. That's what you're, that's what you're investing in. And then that comes back to you and you're planting seeds that are not only for this life, but for the one that's to come. Mm -hmm. You don't know what's going to happen in the one that's to come. None of us do, but we know that there's a reward that waits mm -hmm. us in the life that is to come. That one that lasts forever. Your assignment here is to say yes, and then God will show you what that means in the world, in the life that's to come. But if you say yes now, you're saying yes forever. So say yes to the Holy Spirit right now. Do not, do yeah. not quench him right now. Let me just, right. let me just say to you, do not quench the Spirit. Yeah. Because when you quench the spirit, you're telling him that you don't care what he says. Mm -hmm. You don't trust what he says. You, you ready to do it your way. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. You love Jesus. Don't quench his spirit. When he moves in you right now, he's touching your heart to be a partner in this ministry. Uh, Wilma called from Verona as a new partner in this ministry oh, with a thousand dollar gift. Yeah. Says her, her, her daughter needs a miracle. She's incarcerated. We're going to pray with you, Wilma. For, the, for that freedom for, that, for your daughter. Carol called from Sharon with a $25 a month for 12 months for $300. We're standing with you, sister. David from uh, Terrenium, yeah. $84 a month for 12 months. You're standing with us. We're going to send you all of these things to you as our, as our thank you. Stacy from uh, Pittsburgh, $1,000 with a thousand dollars one time gift. And you've been a partner with us. So keep calling. More and more people are calling. This is the season for that breakthrough, Pastor, Pastor Jay. This is that miracle season. This is that time when what we do now registers in eternity. I, I love the movie uh, uh, Braveheart when they, uh, no, no, uh, Gladiator, Gladiator when they said, said what we do today echoes through eternity. Life echoes in eternity. <laughs> oh, she's wow, gonna, you did it. She can job. actually do it. Look at that. Right. Look at that. Well, but it's the truth. See, yeah. that is the truth. What we do now echoes it's through true. eternity. Yep, One right. day when you say yes to God today and you put a seed in this ground right. Right. and you help us put the TriCaster back together. Yes. I'm going to talk to you just in a minute. Mm -hmm. You help us keep ourselves on the air because we get a backup power. Mm -hmm. You're going to know okay. about that in just a few more minutes. Mm -hmm. We're going to show you all these details in just a few more minutes. Then you're going to say, you're keeping the gospel going. Right. That's right. And then when a life has changed, Pastor Gary, right. and, and like the, the lives we're going to share in just a few minutes, mm -hmm. you share in that. That's right. And for eternity, right. you're going to have a godson or a goddaughter in heaven that you help sponsor. Wow. Well, in that gladiator movie, remember <laughs> when they brought all the chariots out, how did they defeat them? They said, as one. one. We right. have to stand in unity. We're a family. Right. We are a cornerstone family. And we've just got about two and a half minutes left right. in this challenge. If you are able to plan at that $1,000 level, $84 a month, be one of those 12. Call right now, 888-665-4483. Or at that $300 level, $25 a month. And you're right, Dawn, when we get to heaven, if you've been a partner of Cornerstone, all of the souls, Amen. all right. of the lives that Amen. have been changed, you are going to partake in that reward because as one, 
We did it together Amen. as a family. Hallelujah. Well, I have to confess, I never saw the gladiator. What? I know, but I am a gardener. And so I wanted to bring to your attention. This is all, it's all going to start different. I know. Gardener, I never saw it. It's not my kind of movie. But, with G. But, <laughs> but as a gardener, and I know some of you are out there, one of the best things that I love to do is take the seeds. I'm not into seedlings, I take the seeds. And I plant my garden and I plant the seeds in the garden. And guess what happens? After a while, guess what I see? I see fruit and yeah. I see vegetables come forward yeah. and I see seedlings and then mm -hmm. I'm going to see fruit on the vine. I'm going to see vegetables come. And you know what? I always have more harvest than I do seed. Ooh. I mean, I don't know how that works, but it's, yeah. it's a law of, of nature, how God created it, that mm -hmm. that seed yeah. I plant always, always bears fruit. Mm -hmm. And the fruit is always more than the seed. It yeah. always is. And so guess what? That's what we're saying too, is that when you plant your seed, it will bring a harvest. And the harvest, I don't understand it. That's a question we can ask God when we get to heaven. But we're going to find out how that harvest brings fruit and it always brings more than what we sow. It's a fact of life. It's just like with the boy with the five loaves and two fishes. Mm -hmm. At the end of all, now he fed 5,000 people and then at the end there were 12 baskets, baskets left over. Yeah. One of the things I've realized is there are a lot of people that are sitting on the sidelines when you should be involved in the gospel. Mm -hmm. Now right. you can sit on the ground like the 5,000 and God will give you just enough for today. Or you can serve. And I believe now. there was 12 people out there Come serving on, mm -hmm. and they got baskets to take home. Mm -hmm. It's time for you to leave the handfuls mm -hmm. and it's time for you to go into the basket. It's time Come for on. you to get off of the ground and grass and just sit there eating the food. And it's time for you to be a participator and start sowing into the gospel. So come on, go to the phone right now, 888-665-4483 and sow that gift of $25 a month for a total of 12 months for $300 or $84 a month for 12 months for that $1,000 gift. And these wonderful gifts, you know what I love about that cross, Don, mm -hmm. is that the cross is what's been removed out of the gospel. Yeah, That's right. why I said I'm not ashamed That's because right. it always costs, watch this, Right. It always costs to get a miracle. The anointing of God never goes on sale. It never goes. There's no buy one, get ones in the anointing. You pay the full price for it. And even for a harvest, there's always a seed that we have to sow. And when we sow that seed, when we get on our cross, when we do what's hard, there's always a resurrection. Or as your wife put, there's always a harvest mm -hmm. that's greater than the seed that we sowed. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, if you be my disciple, Take up your cross and follow me. Mm -hmm. Take it up. That's a voluntary <laughs> action, friends. It's not something Jesus doesn't put you to cross, but he said, if you be my disciple. Not everybody can be Jesus' disciple. Everybody can be his, his, get saved. The Bible says it's God's will that none should perish, but all would have eternal life. But not everybody is going to make the decision to be a disciple. I want you to make that decision. Be a disciple of Jesus. Be a, you're a believer, become a follower of Jesus. And then you'll live out your destiny. You'll be able to look at him when he sees you and say, he'll say, well done, my good and faithful servant. You've been faithful with little, now we'll be trusted with much. So your gift of $84 a month or your one-time gift of $1,000, we're going to send you this beautiful cross. I wish you could feel it. It's just, it's leaded crystal. And it's going to be yours, along with the book uh, that I just finished called I'm Not Ashamed. It talks about breaking down the spiritual strongholds in your life that are keeping you bound up. Maybe the reason, one of the reasons why you won't reach through is because you're bound in the chains of, of, of uh, strongholds that need to be torn down. I, I teach how to break through those strongholds in this book and have the power of the Holy Spirit to do that. And then with this, this DVD of the power of the gospel is a sermon the Lord dropped on me. It was one of those okay gods. And so I want you to have it. It's, it's about the gospel, the power of the gospel. I'm not ashamed of the gospel and I'm going to wear this bracelet and I want you to wear it too. In fact, we're going to give you two, one for you and one for a loved one that says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. And on the back, it says Cornerstone Television. I want you to have this as, as part of our gift to you at, at the gift level of uh, $25 a month or more and at the cross at $84 a month or $1,000 one-time gift. You know, 
God uses television and he does working of television in the power of miracles mm -hmm. in very different kinds of ways. And I, I, here, I want to show you an incredible story of God's hand at work. So let's watch that testimony right now. Jessica is a wife and mother of two. She and her husband served together by ministering to the youth. But growing up, Jessica had a hard hand dealt to her. I um, had a dad in jail for life, and um, I left my home at 16. Jessica says she ran away because her mother's boyfriend abused her. She stayed under bridges when homeless shelters turned her away. Things that folks don't think about when you're homeless is, where are you going to shower? Where are you going to brush your teeth? So a lot of times, I would stay in the library, definitely, because it was warm, and I would stay until close. Then Giant Eagle, I would get toothbrushes and go brush my teeth in the bathroom because how else was I going to make a way? Jessica's life began to turn around after her friend's family invited her to stay with them. They covered me, they shielded me, they knew God, and though I didn't, I wasn't raised in church and I didn't know what the love of God really meant, they loved on me and they made sure that I was able to get on my feet and they are who helped me get my first apartment and get on my feet to have my first job. Jessica later gave her life to Christ and the closer she drew to God, he sent help to guide her in the right way. As I kept looking to the word, I asked God, help me to know what to do. And that's when I met Linda Webster. And when I, when I met her, I told her she was like a Naomi to me. She helped me learn how to pray and learn how to really read scripture and I could ask her anything and I would sit over her house for hours. As Jessica dug deeper into the Bible, God revealed the root of her pain. I had to battle the orphan spirit. I had to battle the spirit of abandonment, the spirit of depression, anxiety. I had all of those things. I carried it. When he showed me, Jess, that's an orphan spirit. You think that you don't belong. You may have not belonged in the world but that's because you're in the world and not of it. You belong to me. And so he had to show me scriptures. I would have scriptures posted all over the place. Even now, there's scriptures in certain places of the house to remind me, you're free. She says her trials taught her God is always faithful. I can say that he's my shepherd, that I was a sheep that had broken legs that felt like there's no way in the world that I could ever make it. And he carried me on his back. He showed me who he really is intimately so that anytime that the fiery darts of the enemy try me, try my marriage, try my babies, I can declare that I know God and that he is real and that he is true. Pastor, we're here in the prayer room and yes. look at this place. What a, awesome. what a mighty, what a mighty place. Look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. Look Amen. what you've helped us do, partners. Yes. This is to be uh, pretty, pretty far down the road on the Bixler Ministry Center. And if, uh, Neil, look around a little bit. You can see how the, this is all set up with our computers. Look at this. Look at that computer. <laughs> Headsets, you notice? She's got her hands on her headset because we're talking too loud. You guys are all set. We are still taking phone calls. The, 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 the pledge that's on, on the table is $300, $25 a month to help us to continue this kind of work, Pastor Jay, right. or a $1,000 one-time gift. Or if you say, I can't really do $1,000, I can maybe stretch our faith and do $84 a month as a gift into the ministry. And sometimes I tell people too, sow the tithe. Maybe you can't do the full thousand. Start with a tithe and then believe God for the rest. And when you get it within that year, believe him within one year. But look at where your seed is going. If you take a look around, as you, Neil just panned around, all of these computers, the carpet, there's so much more in here that's happening because of your faithful thank love you. and support. Hallelujah. We thank you, family, for sowing. And we believe that as you sow now, God is going to multiply it back. And just like this is renovated, Brother Don, I believe God is going to renovate and put new things into their lives. Your life can Amen. be renovated. That's this right. is a time for a new beginning. So I love you in your teaching that this new season. A new season. It's a new season. And, a season. And, I, and, and I love that part that is a seven-day period. Amen. This week, this seven-day period Amen. 
is an Turning anointed point. time. That's right. So don't let it go by. Call the number on the screen, 888-665-4483. Call right now. We've got phones that are open. Amen. It's hard to tell who's open, who's not open. We've got phones that are open. There are people that are talking. We're ready to take your call. Come on. Ready to take your pledge. I want to send you these bracelets. I want to send you two of I these. Two of these bracelets. And then you can start walking around and telling people exactly what you believe in. Amen. Who do we believe? It's time for the church to rise up, That's right. guys. It's time for you and me to rise up. It's time for us not to be ashamed. Amen. And I believe there's a new anointing, Brother Don, that's coming upon Cornerstone. That's why all this in here, this is brand new. There's a new anointing. And I believe there's a new anointing coming into your life. And wherever you need that new anointing, pick up the phone right now, 888-665-4483. Get that seed of $300 or $1,000 in the ground now and let this this new season anointing begin to penetrate the darkness in your life. There's a move. I can feel the move in this, in this room. Amen. I feel the spirit Amen. of God Amen. moving through this room. And he's moving into your place, into your house, into your car, not in your car, but wherever you are right this minute. Amen. He's moving. He's pulling. He's tugging at your heart. Now yes. is Now's the, the time. time. Now is the Amen. time. And when you call, I'm going to send you the new book, I Am Not Ashamed talks about how you can be a victor in Christ, how we can rise up, not about getting saved, just about living in victory in the power of the Holy Spirit. And then this DVD teaching uh, about a 45-minute DVD about the power of the gospel. Amen. I'm not ashamed of the, the gospel, for it's the power of God unto yes, salvation. Yes, yes. Do you need power in your life? Come on. Do we need to get out of the anemia? The, the weakness and become more than conquerors, this is the time. The phones are ringing. We still got time. Take time for you to call the, the number on the screen or go to the website and make that secure pledge and, and, and say to yourself, here's, what, here's really what we're saying, Pastor. We're saying to ourselves, I'm going to step up out of my comfort zone. Amen. And I'm going to go do something that I would never do before. Somebody's watching right now. You said, I'll never give... A, a, to do, a dollar on, on television. You said that. Now, you may support public television, but that's not the same thing. But to challenge yourself to rise up out of our comfort zone and say, I'm going to take a step Amen. forward. That's right. That's and then right. another step forward. Amen. And as I make those steps, as I make those steps, I'm guarantee you this, Pastor, that God will go with us step by step. And he'll meet us in every one of those steps with our obedience yes. always, yes. always is Amen. answered with God's blessing. And you know, when you do something that's uncommon and you do something that's unfamiliar, your results will be uncommon as well. And I believe, Don, there's many people right now that as you will take that step and get out of your comfort zone, even as he said, and do something unfamiliar, uncomfortable, God's going to release an unfamiliar uncommon Hallelujah. blessing into your life. Something you've been praying for all of your uh, life. Come on. Something you've asked God for. God, use me in a, an unusual way. God, I want to see somebody healed. Yes. God, I want to see somebody saved. God, I want to pray a prayer that is a prayer of faith. I'm tired of being under the circumstances. Come on. Come on. I want to rise up and be yes. more than a conqueror. I'm tired of hearing the promises. Come I want on. to start receiving the promises. Amen. Well, they had to step out. That's why he told Moses, raise up your rod. Whatever you have in your hand right now, pick up that phone, 888-665-4483, and God is going to begin to open up. That's what I hear. Right. Open up open a up. window into this new season of favor and blessing that removes the labor. And when you step out in that in that area of $84 a month or a $1,000 gift to this ministry, a seed, an investment. You know, maybe the stock market has been good to you. You know, the stock market's been doing, doing real yeah. well. Amen. Maybe you've got some earnings that you want to put someplace that is valuable in this end of this year that is the gospel place. Why not here? Why not in Cornerstone? Come on. We're going to send you this cross. Amen. This is a, now feel that, brother. That, that's wow, no flimsy that's little piece of something. Pick up your cross, <laughs> huh? <laughs> this, this is a, a work of art. You're going to love it. We're going to send beautiful. it to you engraved as it comes to you. As you, as you stand in faith, we're going to send that to you as our gift. Let's go back out to, to Gary on the set and see what's going on out there. Well, thank you, Dawn. And when you plant that seed, whether it's $1,000, $84 a month for 12 months, or $300, $25 a month for 12 months, let the prayer partner know the harvest you are needing and believing for. You know, there's a lot of our people watching, you know, they're saved, they love the Lord, but mm -hmm. they've got children, 
They've yes. got grandchildren maybe that don't know the Lord mm. or they're, they're, they're in rebellion, living yes. that prodigal life. Yes, I say we pray, and I know we're gonna pray as a group, that the eyes of their heart are enlightened, that they're flooded with light, that all of a sudden tonight, we're gonna believe God for their salvation, that their spiritual eyes are going to be opened and that today is their day. I'm, I'm talking right now, chains are breaking oh, off yes. of them and they'll be able to see spiritually speaking, how much they need God. And if you are watching, maybe you're just clicking through the stations and it isn't an accident or a right. coincidence that you've stopped mm -hmm. on Cornerstone today and you don't have a personal relationship with the Lord. You know, the Bible says we are promised a lot of things, but we are not promised tomorrow. Come on, Pastor. Today yes. is the day of salvation. We are all going to stand before the Lord at one time. And it's not what we know that's going to get us into heaven. It's who we know. Amen. And I want to ask you today, do you know the Lord? You know, if we live in America, we all know about the Lord. But do you have a personal intimate relationship with Jesus. I'm not talking about a religion. I'm not talking about what denomination you are. I'm asking you, have you ever repented of your sins? Because mm -hmm. we've all sinned. We've all messed up. Come on, brother. All of us sitting here have messed mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And still do. Mm -hmm. And there's only one Savior. The Bible says Jesus is the way. He's not a way, he's the way, the truth and the life. And if you've never invited Christ into your heart, I'm talking about miracles today, that's the greatest miracle anyone could ever receive. And if you've never prayed this prayer, or maybe at one time you've prayed, but you've, you've drifted away, you've, you've pulled back, you, you don't go to church anymore, you, you're hurt, you're wounded, something happened, you tripped and messed up. Today, the Lord's arms are wide open. He's not mad at you. He's mad about you. That's right. He loves you. Amen. Jesus died for you. That cross we've been talking about, we deserve to go to that cross because of our sins. But Jesus took your place yes. and my place. And all he's asking is that you would open your heart and invite him to come in. One thing I love about the Lord, he goes where he's invited. That's right. And if you would simply pray this prayer, and just say, dear Jesus, dear Jesus, I confess, I confess all, of my sins. all of my sins. I ask you to forgive me. I ask you to forgive me. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Be the Savior. Be the Savior. And the Lord of my life. The Lord of my life. Fill me with peace. Fill me with peace. And with your Holy Spirit. And with your Holy Spirit. I receive your forgiveness. I receive your forgiveness. And I forgive myself. And I forgive myself. Be to me, Lord. Be to me, Lord. A father. A father. And a friend. And a friend. Today. Today. I'm coming home to you. I'm coming home to you. Now, if you prayed that prayer right now, I just want you to sense the peace of God peace of God settling upon you. God loves you. He loves you so much. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible says whenever somebody comes into the kingdom, pray that as, as Gary just led you in prayer, if you prayed that prayer, the Bible says that there's a party. Pastor Jay, you were preaching about parties. There's a, that means there's a, there's a party broke out in heaven. Amen. <laughs> and I know that because one person, I know many, many more prayed, but one person is called in, Cynthia called, 
Now this is the testimony of how God works. Now pay attention to me closely. I'm gonna take just a few seconds. Cynthia called from West Virginia and she called for her children and her grandchildren. First time she'd ever called Cornerstone. And Cynthia, wow. we're so glad that you called for Amen. your family. Then she called back. And the time she called back, she called for herself. <laughs> wow. She called for herself to, to receive Jesus. Amen. What we see here, the yellow sheets mean their prayer requests. The pink sheets mean that they're, they're salvation reports. I can't tell you how excited I am for you, Cynthia. Mm -hmm. And this is a perfect example for the, everybody else who's watching. She cared first for the people she loved. Then she listened to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was prompting her. Why not you? Why not now? I know Cynthia's heard the gospel before. You've all heard the gospel in this country. You can't miss it. But she said yes to the Holy Spirit. Will you say yes to the Holy Spirit? Did you pray with Gary? Will you call us 888-665-4483? Will you trust us with letting us pray with you, with our prayer partners praying with you? We have some materials that we prepared that we're gonna to give to you as our tools that will help you take the next step and the next step and the next step. See, salvation is eternal, but it's the first step on an eternal journey. It's not the last step on, it, on the journey. Some people think, Terry, that salvation is the landing pad, but in actuality, salvation is the launching pad. That's right. And that, that is so true. So many of us feel that the best way if we have accepted Jesus as our savior, we're home free, you know, and that's all we need to know. But you know, we want to grow in Christ, you know, and we want to become the follower. We want to be like the disciples. They followed Jesus. Not only did they receive him, but they followed him. And you know what? Following Jesus, your life is never going to be the same. And it's going to be better, better than you can ever dream or imagine. Because you know, God's got our back and he loves you. And he has a plan for you that is only unique to you. Isn't that cool? Stretch out your hands mm -hmm. with me towards the, the platform here. And let's pray for these folks who've called in with prayer yes. requests and these seeds that have been planted. Father, we pray a blessing in the name of Jesus. Yes, we yes. thank you, God, that your word does not return void. God, it was sent out with power. Lord, signs and wonders following. And we thank you for the healings that are happening yes. right now in the yes, lives God. of people. Father, for being set free. Thank you for the, those who came to know you as your Savior, all those that we've planted in faith for the future, God. We trust in you, God. You are our Father. Yes. yes. You are the the one and only, the great I am. And Lord, we thank you for answers. We thank you for the new season, Father. Yes, yes God. We yes. thank you, Lord. We're ready for that next level, Lord yes, God. God. Use us for your kingdom, we thank pray you, Lord. in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. Let's go into some worship time together. That's what I love about this kind of program. We can just go and do stuff. Amen. Let's go into worship with Jaron Davis and Kindred So, Guys, just take us into the kingdom, into the throne room. I feel the presence of the Lord in here, and I know you do too. We want you to join in and sing with us. The words are going to be on your screen, and we want you just to lift your voice along with us, and let's praise the Lord together. Here we go. You are forever. Just like 
ever changes, and we give him praise. I've been singing this song all of my life, and this is a new part of Telethon this year, to have a time of praise and worship where not only people sing and you listen, but where you as part of the audience and part of the body of Christ join in worship with us. And I, I've been singing this song. That's a new worship song. Here's a song I've been singing as long as I can remember that just talks about that faithful God that we serve. And it goes like this. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Sing it out. Thou changest not thy come. Terry, you had your heart. I know your heart was all over that song. I know. I love that song, and I love the way they sang it. I love the harmonies. They just are so good. You know, they're just well, so, I don't want to not say, just so good. They're anointed, they're isn't gifted, that what you're supposed to say? Man. Gifted and anointed. They surely are. Well, you know, I, Gary, you said it, and I and I know it's true. Is that they were uh, Arlene's favorite favorite group. Without a doubt. Did you guys know that? I did not Did you know that? No. That you were Arlene Williams, show, throw a camera over on them guys, that you were Arlene Williams, one of our long, long term friends. You were their faith, her faith favorite group. That's right. That's what we Because of out. songs like that. That's because right. Because of songs like that. Singing, singing the harmony of the gospel. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're, mm -hmm. we're, we're so thankful. We're here talking about the gospel. We're here talking about the power of the gospel and that we're not ashamed of the gospel. Amen. Pastor Jay, we, we stand in the gospel. If we don't have the gospel, brother, we have nothing. You're right. We know you mentioned about music that's anointed. You know, sometimes people are great musicians. They have great voices, but they don't carry any weight in their life. There's nothing that changes the atmosphere. When you have anointed men and women of God that can sing under the power of the gospel, that changes the atmosphere. And that's where yokes are destroyed and burdens are removed because of that anointing. It's the, it's the anointing that breaks the yoke. Without a doubt. 
Mm-hmm. Well, we're here, we're here talking about what's going on in, in Cornerstone. Now, if you love Christian television and you love what God's doing in Christian television, please don't go away. Stay Amen. with us for this whole program. We're going to take the next hour. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about what God's doing in Christian television. And I'm going to tell you how the enemy is resisting Christian television. You know, we've got an enemy. Mm-hmm. Terry, ter- you know, it's, it, it's, it's, it's unwise to know that you're in a battle, not know you're in a battle when you have such, such a strong enemy as the, as the devil. Well, and we don't really think that, that he is really into what we're doing. We just are more passive, I think. Well, Pastor Jay, there's no coincidence that the word calls the enemy the uh, prince and power of the mm-hmm. air. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. And guess where we do our ministry? Mm-hmm. Through the airwaves. <laughs> That's exactly right. Amen. Well, our ministry is up in here. Come on in here. Amy, come on in. We're in t- you, you, you can just come on in. Uh, we, are, we are battling in the air. You know, I tell our pastor friends this. We're, there, we're the Air Force, mm-hmm. and you guys, pastors, you Pastors, you are the ground force. Boots on the ground. You're the boots on the ground. Amen. Right. You know, we come over through the air and we drop the bo- gospel bombs. Yes, <laughs> right. And you are fighting the fight on the ground and harvesting in the kingdom. What a great combination that is. You know, you have to, it's great to have all of us working together right. for the mutual goal of, of spreading the gospel mm-hmm. and having disciples. Well, that's why, mm-hmm. that's why we, we have come to you with this special program. We have, this is very special because we don't rarely do this. Pastor Gary, you've been around a long, long time. It's very rare that we come to our, 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 our partners and our viewers and we tell you about the need that we have. Mm-hmm. Cornerstone has some specific technical needs where we need to prepare ourselves to continue to preach the gospel through television. These are specific areas that have to be fixed. Mm-hmm. And Gary, you're on the board too, and we're gonna to talk with you and Craig in just a few minutes about what our board's positions are, because you guys are adamant that we continue broadcasting the gospel. Well, it, it does take equipment and a techn- technology is always changing. Equipment needs upgraded all the time. I mean, when Russ and Norma came up on this mountain 40 years ago, there was nothing here. There were some rocks that the prayer partners sat on and prayed this into existence. And our faith has been made sight. But everything we see, we had to believe for. And there's some things right now now. that we need that we have to believe for. And it takes money to be able to get those things so that we can continue broadcasting the power of the gospel. Well, all I can say to you this is if the Lord has used Cornerstone in your life ever, then I want you to stay with us. Do that out of honor of God because God used this television network to touch your life, to encourage you, maybe to be here for you in prayer, maybe to pray for somebody in your family Maybe that's how there is the Lord. I don't know how the Lord has used Cornerstone in your life, but if that's ever happened and that has happened to hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people, if not millions of people. So odds are you're one of those people and we care about you and we love you. And we, I want to show you some things that's going on here that your attention is needed. So please pay attention. In fact, I don't think I can really describe it to you. Some of the things I got to take you and show you. So we're going to take a little trip, just you and me. Come on, let's get, let's get, guys, I'm getting up. I'm, I'm going to go over here. Just follow me. I'm going to go into the, actually, we're going to go out to the master control room. So follow us. You get a little tour. Uh, Rob's going to back out of here as we, as we walk through the, the building. We're leaving the studio, going out into our hallways. To the left is this green room. To the right is our entrance way. And then I've got to change mics because my wireless doesn't work out here. And we're going to keep on going through here. This is our our Legacy Wall of Faith. Many of your names on the Legacy Wall of Faith. Well, you helped us with the Norma uh, and Russ Bixler Ministry Center. Your name's on there. We'll keep moving backwards here. I'll get a little bit behind so I'll keep going so I don't look like you're right on top of you. We're going to keep going. There's a little step. Our producers are over here. Our, Our cafe for our lunchroom is right here. If you've never been here, I want to welcome you someday to come up and take a tour. Keep going back. Now we're going into where nobody ever goes except the engineers. This is back, back into the master control. And I'm going to walk right around here, Rob. Just follow me as I, as I walk around here. And this is master control. 
This is the literal technical center of the, of the, of the network. And just pan over here. The, all of these monitors, and this is Lee. Lee is one of our engineers running the, the monitors at different channels that we serve, Pittsburgh Faith and Families up there. All of these control are controlled by computers. And where is, there he is. I thought you were hiding. <laughs> I thought he was hiding on me. I want to, I, you guys, most of you guys know who Steve is. Steve Johnson is our Vice President of Operations. And Steve, we're coming back here for two reasons. One, I want everybody at home to see how well you keep this place. It's very nice. We're working on it. Very nice. We're actually going to have a ceiling in here yeah, sometime. It's coming next. <laughs> and new carpet. Look at this carpet. Yeah. But, but what we're talking about here just happened. We had an emergency about two weeks ago. You might have noticed it if you are on a Sunday night. We disappeared. Remember? Remember? I know you remember. Oh, yeah, I got the call. We're off the air, and our guys scrambled to get us back on. And the reason we went off the air, and we were off the air for... About, it was a couple, of, uh, hour and a half, maybe something like that. See, when we're off the air, now when the power goes off, you know, in the, in the area, then our power goes off, just like everybody else's power. But we have a magic little box here. What, what's this called? This is our uninterruptible power supply, but it keeps us on the air when the power goes off. It's like a backup battery. Right. It's got all these batteries in it, but th this this is how old? Uh, I think it's from 1995. What it is, it's out of support. They don't make parts for it anymore. Mm -hmm. We tried to fix it when it broke, but because you can't buy parts or the company doesn't repair it anymore, when it broke, it was done. And when this breaks and the power goes off, we go off. And, you know, when we go off the air, we're not in ministry anymore. We're just a black station where our station used to be. We can't have that anymore. We've got to fix it. This box has to be replaced. This box is a, um, like you said, it's about 20 years old, and we bought it used. Well, somebody actually gave it to us. Uh, we were glad to get it, but it was still in service then. It could still be repaired, and we did repair it. It, it came without batteries, and it needed some parts. It's part of stewardship. We, we do the best we can with what we have, and we've milked this baby out as long as possible, but now it's time to replace it. And that's where we need your help. We need to replace this piece of equipment. We need to replace another piece of equipment that's in here that is our switcher, our, our server. server right. show, show us where the server is. Well, can we see it? Or yeah. It's really not a – is there a particular place? If you, if you look over here, Rob, you'll see – this whole area here is what we would call our playout server system, and it is running on, uh, how about let's say some old software on some really old vintage hardware, and we're, we're making the best of it, but uh, with our high def channel, if you see sometimes we go to black or the segments play out of order, it's related to this server system that like the uh, backup power supply, is beyond the point of repair, and it needs to be replaced. All of a sudden, you're watching Cornerstone, and then the program freezes, or it jumps. And then jump, sometimes it jumps to something else. It's because this equipment can't handle the new technology is really what it is. Right. And we need to upgrade this equipment so that we can be, you know, a, a, a secular mind a person wouldn't stay for it. They, they, they just flip the channel. Well, we've got good content, so people stay regardless. <laughs> well, we want to have good content and good delivery. So what we here, what this room does is takes what is pr produced in the studio and then shoots it out all over the western Pennsylvania and then out around the different parts of the United States by satellite mm -hmm. and in parts of the world. Right. Yeah, this is, this is key, vital. Now, I, what I want to say about Steve and his team is they do a phenomenal job of stretching things making things work, keeping things together with sometimes wire and super glue. Sometimes. Sometimes, and I give them great. So we're great stewards. But right now, I wouldn't come to you with this if we didn't have an urgent need. We have an urgent need here in the control room, in master control, to do something to make this, sta this, this station stable. I'm going to ask you in just a minute. I'm not going to tell you what it is right now. I'm going to ask you in just a minute on what you can do to help us. And we have one more thing I'm going to show you. But before we do that, I want to go back into the studio with, uh, with uh, Pastor Gary, who's on our board, and then with Craig Sherwood, who's our chairman of our board, and let them tell you what the board's place is at this point in time.
Welcome, Cornerstone Television. Pastor Gary, glad to have you here. I'm glad to be here. Um, currently, I'm chairman of uh, Cornerstone Television. You have been chairman over the years, and um, uh, like you were saying over on the couch, basically, you know, uh, almost 40 years. And um, we do have some, some needs, you know, uh, some of the technical needs and so forth. And you, you articulated that pretty, very well. And I was, uh, I was thinking, Lord, how can, can you give me something here like that to understand it as well? And uh, we're like a vehicle, you know, a cornerstone television. And we're, we're a vehicle, and, and I grew up in the South Hills, Pittsburgh. And uh, the vehicles that came into South Hills uh, m uh, Monday through Sunday, five, you know, seven days a week, 20, you know, not 24 hours a day like Cornerstone does. Uh, these vehicles used to deliver, uh, it was called the Hagen Man, it was the Good Humor Man, and it was the Popsicle Man. And I'll tell you, they, they, they provided all kinds of goodies to us. They, they delivered to us what we wanted as kids. And one of the things I never really thought about before is that once I got my snow cone with extra juice, it was 10 cents or 15 cents now, uh, the chunky bars off of the, you know, the Hagen Man, um, you know, we got what we, we needed. And I never really thought about the delivery, uh, the delivery system. And that is the, um, I never thought about the Hagen Man needing new tires. I never thought about a, a, you know, uh, you know, about a water pump breaking down on one of those vehicles. Uh, or just like gas in, the, in, 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 the, um, in, in any of their vehicles, you know, to make the run so that I could, I could do that. Cornerstone Television is the same way. And uh, our need is, um, is, is to keep on running, to make sure that we're providing and doing the gospel in the right way so that we could hear, well done and good, faithful servant. Amen. So. Well, you know, as a board, one of the things that we always do every time we meet is we spend quality time in prayer. You see, the, the board of Cornerstone, we are responsible for the fiduciary responsibilities. So we're always presented with these needs that we have to trust and believe God for. And we really just needed to come and present these needs. The Bible says you have not because you ask not. Those two tricasters, Craig, they're $35,000 for each one. Right, yeah. I mean, th there might be somebody watching that could say, you know what, the Lord's blessed me. I, I, I would be able to replace one of those tricasters, maybe a couple, maybe a business person, mm -hmm. maybe yep. somebody that's just been a partner for years that the Lord is blessed Amen. that they would be able to help us. Yeah, it, and uh, one of the things, the clear direction we got from the board was that if, if we're not on the air, then um, we're not ministering. And that is our job, is to be ministering out there. And uh, we have, uh, you know, we have a need, and the need is to be able to provide the gospel of Jesus Christ full time in a way, and to present it in a way that would do justice to Cornerstone. Amen. So... Would you pray with us that the Lord will provide the monies that we need? We need over $200,000, about $210,000 to get these pieces of equipment. Two of them are TriCasters. And then we're going to go back to Don up in the control room. And he's going to tell us about some other necessary pieces of equipment that definitely need replaced and upgraded. Don? Hey, I'm up here in, in, in the control room. This is really where everything happens. Here goes through the studio, comes through here. And as you pan around just a little bit, look, Rob, this is where our graphics are, are laid out. This, this is uh, Angel doing her job on the graphics. Uh, over here is Larry. He's our director. You can see his, his back and his, mach his machine he's working on. Now, Steve, come yeah, up here for yeah, just a yeah. second. Now, we're, we're here to talk about probably the most critical piece of equipment in this room, I would suspect, is, is the TriCaster. Yeah, all our productions, uh, all the studio productions, right. need this piece of equipment here with all the monitors that Larry's working. They, they require this thing to work properly for us to get a studio program. So every real life, every sister to sister, every hard questions, every origins, this thing is integral. And like our backup power supply, 
we've had trouble with this and have been un unable to get it uh, operating reliably and especially for live like tonight. That's so uh, we had to rent yeah. to get a reliable system for this week. That That is so important, family, for you to understand that without that switcher, without that TriCaster, everything stops in the studio. We've been in productions just recently doing a, a special on abuse. It, the title of the special is Where Was God in the Abuse? It took us a whole day to produce that program because we had to stop and start, stop because the TriCaster was acting up. We can't produce Christian television without the proper equipment. It just is impossible. This is where the enemy can get in. Now, you've got to say, well, the devil's not in the equipment. No, but you know what? If we don't replace the equipment, now, this, that piece of equipment that we had, the one that we had, is about six years old, if at, I remember. At least. And we try to get stuff out of the, out of the service line, especially for live, by five years. Uh, modern television equipment. Just think of the last, like with your phone, you know, they only last a couple years. Your computer only lasts a couple years. That's right. So we make this stuff last as long as possible. But, uh, yeah, this is six or more. Well, and we don't, you know, we need the best that we can get. Now, there are, th this isn't the best. Now, you know, when you start talking about Grass Valley and those kinds of switchers, right. you're way, way, way more money. This is an entry-level best. Well, I, I would say this is the best value for us. Mm -hmm. So we, we do uh, stretch every dollar as far as possible, and we get the biggest bang for our buck with this product. Well, and we need your help. Bottom line, we need your help. We need for you to stand with us. And I'm going to show you how you see it on the screen. We need for you to make a pledge and a gift or a pledge tonight to help us with the technology, to help us to get this stuff ready to go. Because as the seasons change, as we get more and more opportunity to reach more and more people, then the enemy is resisting it at greater levels. So we're fighting this thing together, folks. This is a battle that we fight together. And we are going to win this battle, but we're going to win it together. We're going to win it together. So there's a... A lot of men and women in this city has been around a long time. We've been here 40 years. And God has used a lot of people in media. Lauren Mann is, a, is one of those people that he's been used in media. You remember his name, maybe recognize him as a newscaster. He's a pastor in town. He's going to talk to us about the power of Christian television. Let's go listen to Lauren Mann. Pittsburgh is such a religiously divided city. And God is removing the walls of denominationalism and bringing his family together. That's why Cornerstone Television is so important because once you turn on that transmitter and start sending out a broadcast, it's not for Presbyterians only or for Pentecostals or for Baptists or Methodists. It's for everyone and everyone can tune in. And that's what the kingdom of God is all about. You know, I was in the studio the night that we signed on. I was in the studio with Russ Fixler. He was my dear friend. We had talked about a television channel for Christian TV in Pittsburgh on numerous occasions. And on that night, when the station signed on for the first time, it was a miracle that was perfected. It was something that God had done. And we were so appreciative of it right now in our nation we are more divided than we've ever been. And therefore, it is important for us to preach the gospel. Christians look for a certain type of television that speaks to our spirit. And that's why Christian TV is so important as an alternative. It meets spiritual needs. It talks to the person who is on the inside. We have shows that we can watch that will speak directly to our spirit and tell us how to be better Christians, how to live a better life, how to live a life that God would be pleased with. You know, I'm sitting in a church that's full of people who are ex, just fill in the blank. We've got them all here, praising God, glorifying Him, living lives that are different from what they used to live. That's what the gospel does. That's what the gospel does. The gospel changes everything. That's right. We're talking about the power of the gospel mm -hmm. and how God uses it to take a life that's in the, in the darkness and turn the light of the gospel onto that life and see that life become the man or woman that they were created to be, Pastor Jay. That is the pathway 
that we are on and using television and internet mm -hmm. and video to tell those stories of life change. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why people have to get in on helping us out with right. partnering with us to get this new equipment. Mm -hmm. I believe with all of my heart, and I shared it earlier tonight, that I believe that there's a season change for Cornerstone. I believe there's a new anointing coming upon this ministry, upon this house, and the equipment that's needed is in order to preach the gospel. Because I believe the end time harvest is coming. I believe that God is positioning Cornerstone and he wants to get you in line for your blessing as well. So why don't you call in now and help us get this new TriCaster. Right. We need the new uh, camera equipment and so many other things that are needed in order to keep the gospel of Jesus Christ going to get across. On, to, get, mm -hmm. to stay in the battle, we're not looking for cutting edge, although we have a very pretty signal. I got to tell you, every no signal in town is any better than ours. If you're watching us on HD, it's a beautiful signal. But we got to keep be able to produce programming and then distribute it, produce it and distribute it. We have some partners who we asked to uh, help us to challenge you. And so they, in advance to this program, they said, we'll put some uh, challenge money on the table. Mm -hmm. So for the next, what do we say, T 10 minutes, 15 minutes, we're going to have a clock. So for every dollar that you will give or pledge towards this very important need, then we'll match that mm -hmm. dollar for dollar. Oh, that's awesome. So your $1,000 gift becomes a $2,000 gift. So wow. start the clock right now. Right. And that goes a long way because I, I heard pastor, you said we need 200 people to stand up and make a $1,000 pledge. Yes, gift. we do. 200 people can do that. I believe there are 200 people that are going to watch this program and say, I'm ready to help change Pittsburgh and Western Pennsylvania for the gospel and then take that around the world and mm -hmm. in the power mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit. Well, I was glad you did that field trip back there <laughs> because I didn't know what we needed, you know? And that was, and I'm sure you were like just me, that we didn't know what was needed. We just see the end result. We get to be blessed by what we see and we don't realize all that goes on behind the scenes because when that's not working, we don't get to, yeah, we're, not, we're not blessed by watching any of the television programs. Well, so Pastor, that was great. Yeah, that's absolutely. Mm -hmm. Pastor Amy, most people think TV's free. Oh yeah. Most people do. I mean, they have yeah. television free. I don't have to right. pay to, well, but you have cable, mm -hmm. you know, and all the TV channels you're mm -hmm. watching are full of advertising, right. mostly for uh, pharmaceutical drugs. Mm -hmm. And, and you either maybe subscribe to Netflix, mm -hmm. we have to pay monthly Netflix or yep. Prime mm -hmm. or whatever. That's not free. No. You're subscribing. Cornerstone is the only free television I believe that yeah. really is out there because we don't have advertising. Mm -hmm. We don't sell advertising. Mm -hmm. We're sponsored by you. Right. You, our partners, are, mm -hmm. you're the one who makes this possible. God uses you. Mm -hmm. to make Christian television possible. And then God uses Christian television, Pastor Gary, to take the word into lives. And other broadcasters like Charles Stanley and Joyce Meyer and yes, 70 amen. other programmers that you love. Who's yeah. your favorite programmer? Now, you don't have to say real life. But it'd be nice. Or you sister have to say, to sister, sister is or the absolute hard question. <laughs> hard question. <laughs> but, or out. signs yeah. and wonders. But, but we need the. But we need your help. Yes. Right. We need your help. We really need your help to get our. We need the equipment. That's the bottom line. We need that. And, and what I love. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Well, what? I was just thinking. I like a deal. So if I'm giving and somebody's matching, that's that's, that's quite a deal. I'm actually doubling my so my that's seed right. sown. Right. So to me, it's kind of a no-brainer. It's like deal, hello, yes, I'm all in because we do need the nuts and the bolts. We want to be on the cutting edge. Yes. We don't want to just grow old and stale and, and be reworking, refixing. We want to be on our cutting. We want to be sharper than ever. We want to be piercing the darkness more than ever. And it just takes people. It takes partners. It takes friends and family to hook up together and as one, like you said, Amen. do it together. That's right. And what I love about a matching challenge is everybody can do something. Right. Every dollar is matched and doubled. If you sow $100, it becomes $200. If you sow $500, it becomes $1,000. This is a great opportunity for as many of you that can plant that $1,000 seed, $84 a month for 12 months, or a one-time gift on your credit or debit card, you will receive that beautiful crystal cross as our appreciation and thank you for helping us get this Amen. new equipment. 
Amen. And, and if, if your gift investment, let's call it an investment. Yeah. Let's call it an investment. You're a business person. Maybe mm -hmm. you're a business person. You understand investments. If your investment is $300 or more, I'm going to send you the, mm -hmm. the, this book, The Power of the Gospel, the DVD, The Power of the Gospel, and I'm Not Ashamed book. I'm going to send you two of these uh, bracelets that you can wear with pride, not pride in us, but pride in the gospel. Pride in the gospel. And the cross that Gary was just this collector's edition. It is a leaded crystal, mm -hmm. a leaded crystal cross that you're always going to look at. And you're going to say, I'm sending the gospel mm -hmm. out around the world 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And we're talking about Jesus. We're talking about the cross. Yeah. What else could you, I mean, that's, that just thrills my soul. So we've got 10, 11 minutes. Call 888-665-4483 and say, I want to stand with Cornerstone. I want to plant that $1,000 or more seed. I want to plant uh, $84 a month. I can't do $1,000 all at once or $300 or $25. So it's, it's $300 or $1,000 or $25 or $84. That's what we're asking. Now, you know, whatever God tells you, though, I'm going to tell you, if it's more than that, praise the Lord. Whatever God tells you, join us, won't you? So there's, there's somebody watching right now. You've been a partner. You were a partner a long time ago, yeah. but you haven't stood up with us for a while. Mm -hmm. And it's not because you don't want to. You just haven't had the opportunity. You might have thought everything was just great, you know, and, and we didn't have any needs. I'm telling you, we got these needs. This is when we come out, Pastor Jay, and say we have these needs. Won't you help us with these needs? Mm -hmm. And whenever you give a glass of water to a prophet in the name of a prophet, you share in that profit's reward. Right. And Matt, you know, it's great. You've mentioned you need 200 people to give $1,000. Well, in the next 10 minutes, we only need 100. Yes. Because oh, the reality right. is that everything is doubled throughout oh, this right. time. That's right. So that's you right. need to get in your seed right now because this is going to help further the gospel of Jesus Christ. And what I love about this station, it truly does preach the uncompromised God. I am, I am not one of those uh, uh, pablum preachers. So I got to be able to preach uncensored. And I'm so glad that I don't have to feel kind of like, oh man, are they going to be upset because I say this to say this? It doesn't matter what it is. They are all about preaching the gospel that souls will be saved. Yeah. People will be delivered and set free. So come on, dial right now, 888-665-4483. Get that seat in. There is nine minutes left for this unlimited matching challenge mm -hmm. where every dollar becomes $2. This is the time. 300 becomes 600. 1,000 becomes 2,000. Call in right now and help Cornerstone keep the gospel going across the airwaves. You know, Spirit of, of, the, of the Lord just told me that there are people who have made pledges in the past, but then for whatever reason weren't able to continue with their pledge, but you can now. Now's the time to pick back up. God's reminding you of your, of your promise. He's, now, right now, you feel him right now. He's reminding you of your promise. So step back up into the promise because now is the time for the harvest. This is the perfect time to get in. The, the, remember the, the parable of the, the workers and the harvest? And they came in at different right. times right. and they all got right. the same reward even though some came in at the last minute. Mm -hmm. Come into the harvest. Right. Now, mm -hmm. come into the harvest and you will receive the reward Amen. that the Lord has for those who've been in the harvest for such a long time. Now is your time. Mm -hmm. Join us in. And John, John, bring out that camera. I'm going to share one more thing. You know, we're not moaning and groaning, folks. I'm not moaning and groaning. I'm just telling you the way things are. You know, if I don't tell you the truth, who's going to tell you the truth? Mm -hmm. This is a regular DSL. This is a regular camera that many of you probably have. It's just a Canon, and it, we use it to record testimonies. I love testimonies. Mm -hmm. Testimonies is where we go out into the, the neighborhoods or to your home, and we record your story. Then we bring it back, and we tell your story. This is the camera. We have two of these, and they are starting to fa fail. They'll only record for 10 minutes, and at the end of 10 wow. minutes, they stop recording. This particular guy, he will kind of have, he's got a little quirk about him. And so if you got to just hold him just quite right, if you don't hold him quite right. He, so can you imagine you're out in somebody's home trying to tell right. their story? They say, well, wait a minute, we got to start that all over again. Right. We, we need to step up mm -hmm. to the next level with you so we can record stories of life changes, testimonies. We need to have a field camera that is up there to, we'll do it. There's, there's one that we have our eye on that will change everything. Won't you step up and help mm -hmm. us to buy that camera? This is great for this season. 
We were happy to get it, but now that season's over with. Now this one has lived its life. Now it's time for us to retire it. And it told stories of testimonies. And here's a testimony. Maybe this guy recorded it. Let's go and see how the power of gospel has made an incredible change in this person's life, in their, in their hand at work. I lived in hell every day of my life. When I was married before, my husband, he, he pulled my hair. He did all kinds of things to me. It was a horrible marriage. It was horrendous. And he was physically and verbally abusive to me. I hated him. I hated him with a passion, and I wanted him to die. I got a divorce from him. Time passed, and I found my second husband, who I loved with all my heart, and I married him. Time passed, eight years passed, and I've still hated my first husband. Here I am, and I'm a Christian, and I couldn't forgive, and my prayer to God was, God, please help me to forgive, because if I don't forgive, don't let me die before I forgive, because if I don't forgive, you're not gonna forgive me, and I don't wanna go to hell. That was my prayer. I turned on channel Cornerstone TV, and there was this lady, and she was talking about forgiveness. She couldn't forgive somebody or something that had been done in her life. And what she did was visually pictured Christ coming into her with his arms outstretched and his hands stretched out to the world. And after that night, I was able to forgive. I was able to let it go. And it made such a difference in my life because when you don't forgive, you're enslaved, you're like imprisoned in your own body and your mind and your soul. God has always been by my side. He's never, he's never failed me. He's never walked away from me. He's always been there. He's always protected me with his angels. And he'll never leave you or forsake you, no matter how bad things get. You just have to have faith in him and know that you're going to come out on top and he's going to take you from the lowest valley to the highest mountain top in him. Terry and I are, are here in the prayer room, and this is where your calls come to. These are the prayer partners that have been called by God to be here, to pray for you and to stand with you, and to be your connection point with Cornerstone. This is a very, very special group of people. Oh, they are, and they will pray with you, they will intercede with you, and they agree with you. And what's so exciting, I don't know if you get to see, is that this is more of the prayer center, the Bixler Family Center, and it looks beautiful. Yes. It's just wonderful to see this. There's a challenge on the table right now, a challenge for you helping us to take these kinds of steps. What happened in this room happened because partners stood with us, Terry, and, and, and they said, I'm going to stand with, and many gave $1,000 and became a part of the Bixler Ministry Center team that built this place. And we're building a chapel next door, a prayer room that will be phenomenal. I, will, I can't wait to show it to you. We need to fix our technology. We can't go off the air. We just can't. No, you we can't. can't have the power go off and then Cornerstone goes off. That's, we can't. We need for you to help us. We need, really do need you to help us stand up with a $1,000 gift to this ministry. You can help make sure that we stay on 24 hours a day, seven days a week with the gospel. We can see Charles Stanley on when he's supposed to be on. We can see Joyce Meyer when she's supposed to be. Andrew Womack when he's supposed to be on. Real life when it's supposed to be there. Sister to sister, hard questions. Right. More than a song. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, and the list goes on and on. Lots. We need your help. We sure do. And then we need your help to make sure that we can get it out, to distribute it with, with, with the capacity of the TriCaster. If, if we can't record in the studio, then we're stuck. We sure so please are. stand up. Everybody can do something. We've got five minutes left in this matching challenge, or just two minutes left in this matching challenge. You've got to call right now, That's folks. Right. This is the time to call. Call, call the number that's on the screen right now. We don't have any more time for that matching challenge to come to effect. That's right. Any, any amount any will amount be matched. Will and be so matched. that's why just give us a call. Plant your seed because, you know, remember we talked about planting a seed, you get a harvest. But I know we're not giving just to get a harvest. We're giving because we believe in Cornerstone and you know that we... We come to you as honest as possible that we are to say we need this equipment. Now it's the time. Yes. Let's stand together. Let's go back to Jay mm -hmm. and Pastor 
at the, on the couch. Well, come on, folks. It's time for you to get your seat in. There's a minute and 52 seconds left. Every dollar becomes $2. Help Cornerstone come into this new season. Everything is being renovated. Everything's being changed because it's time for something new. You know, I'm really excited about this season mm -hmm. because the fact that everything is shifting and changing, it means that God has allowed the grace to lift off of all that stuff because mm -hmm. he's ready to take us into a place. And I'm excited about the harvest that's going to come, the anointing that's going to be released, the souls that are going to be coming in. And as you sow in this season, mm -hmm. watch the increase in the anointing. Morning. And I'm so yeah. excited about what God's getting ready to do in this new season. Right. And I think too, people are generous. I feel like our family, our partners, our, those that are watching, those that every day you're tuning in to hear Joyce Meyer, Andrew Womack, uh, Joseph Prince and Creflo Dollar and Real Life and all of these amazing programs that are really giving life. I tell you what, our people are generous and those that devise a generous plan on generosity, they will stand. And guess what? We have the, the nature of God in us. That means we're generous. That's right. God so loved, he gave. He gave. We so love Cornerstone and we're so thankful we give. Mm. Amen. We got just 30 seconds. If you're on the line, your, Come your on. gift will count. If you're not on the line, call right now, 888-665-4483, and plant your best seed. Mm -hmm. Now, you know what that is. Now, if it's $300 or more, we've got a special thank you gift. If it's $1,000 or more, we get a lot of thank you gifts with this beautiful crystal mm -hmm. cross. We want you to have it, want to put it on your, on your mantle. Pastor Gary, there's a time to talk and there's a time to walk. This is the time to walk. <laughs> we need everybody to do something. We've presented the need. We're trusting you are going to hear his voice. My sheep know my voice. And then just heed those hunches. Don't sit back. Don't just shrug it off. Don't wait for somebody else to do it. God is waiting on you. So go to the phone, 888 665 4483, believe with us for these TriCasters to be replaced, for these cameras to be replaced, and sow your very best seed now. Let me, t let me tell you why I'm involved in Christian television. You know, I've been in it now for 40 years, 40 years. Why am I still in it? Why, why did I not just leave and go do something else? Because, you know, 1% of television is Christian television, just 1%. That means 99% of television is mostly junk and garbage. I mean, that's, I'm not being judgmental. I'm just telling you the truth. Just flip the channel and watch what you see, 1%. Why am I involved in Christian television? Because I believe that Christian television is going to be used by God to be a catalyst to this end time revival. Amen. I really do. I believe that God's going to use Christian broadcasting, radio and television to get to the people where the people are. <coughs> people are watching TV. They're watching, listening to radio. They're going to their TV is still the strongest avenue to the home, period. You know, you can be on the Internet. That's all great. But TV goes into the living room. You've invited us into your living room. So I'm here because I believe that God's going to continue to take Christian television higher and higher. The greatest days of Christian television aren't back in the 80s with Pat Robertson and with, uh, with uh, Jimmy Swaggart and with Jimmy, Jimmy Baker. Mm -hmm. those, are, th those are great days, but the greatest days, the most powerful days, the most anointed days, <coughs> the days when in this studio you're going to see the lame walk and the blind see are still coming. And that's why we are sticking into the t Christian TV because this is, just as Pastor preached, this is the hardest time because we have to fight through the resistance of the prince and power of the air. But in the power of the gospel, in the power of the Holy Spirit, we have the, the victory because God has ordained and established mm -hmm. this. So the greater one is in us. He's doing a work in this, in this ministry and other Christian television too that is going to just shake this nation. And it's going to then come to the church. The church is going to be the, the, the receiver of that great move of God that starts in the air and works down to the neighbors. That's why we're still involved. That's why we're not at a retirement place going, boy, gee, I, let's play another round of golf. You know, I'll never retire. Terry will never retire. We're going to stay in the ministry. And I think it's time for us to refire. Listen, that's a word for somebody. 
Somebody right now, you're, you've just passed that age of retirement, and you're, you're going, boy, gee, now I, I'm just going to kind of just relax, take it easy. <laughs> Pastor Amy, there is no relaxing for the warrior. Come on. No. A warrior doesn't relax. No. Warrior fights. Fight, and fight is what we'll do. We fight the good fight of faith, and that's exactly what Cornerstone Television is. We're going out, and we're sowing seeds of faith. That's right, mm -hmm. We're sowing the Word of God, and when you get the Word of God, that's the power of the gospel. One word of, from one scripture about healing, one scripture about finances, right. one scripture about salvation can change literally generations to come. Mm -hmm. So it is so important that we keep fighting mm -hmm. and that we don't stop. We won't back down That's because right. of an old camera. We're not going to give ah. up because a TriCaster needs replaced. We're going to keep pushing forward. We're going to keep believing God. And we want you to be a part of the answer. We want you to be a part of the miracle that's going to happen here. And we want you to also reap the benefits of that bountiful harvest that we're going to receive. See, that, you, just, you just hit the nail on the head. You just said exactly, you, you just hit the nail on the head. It's just, it's just like Paul said, it's not that the gift that we desire, right. but we desire more that you would receive you. the benefit right. of giving the right. gift, the fruit You're of the right. gift. We have a need, but you know who meets all of our needs? Jesus. Jesus. Right. Is he going to allow you to be part of the answer? Mm. Yeah. See, if he allows you to be part of the answer, then you get to be part of the of the of the victory. Well, wouldn't he want us to be all part of the answer? Yeah, but when we but we have to we have to step up in faith. Okay, sure. So God wants us to be part of the answer, but guess what? It's up to you to take the if off it or not, you know? Amen. If you we know that God wants it to, it's it's your choice. Well, mm -hmm. and when we do what you described, Amy, mm -hmm. when we in obedience say yes to God, mm -hmm. then our yes just becomes an avalanche of God's blessing. Amen. His little step, and you preached a great sermon about that, brother. Our little step of obedience goes into supernatural results. There's three arenas that God answers prayer. He answers one through his own personal sovereignty. He just comes down and supernaturally answers them. Number two, he uses angels. And number three, sometimes the answers to our prayers are in the will of man. Sometimes your will is how God is going to get the breakthrough. There's something that God just does sovereignly. There's sometimes God uses angels and there's sometimes it's the will of man. So sometimes there are breakthroughs that don't happen because somebody decided not to pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. Not that God won't still get it to Cornerstone. That's right. But God wants to give not to you, but through you. That's it. And if he can give through you, he wants to give more into your life. So come on, pick up that phone. We only got a few minutes left. 888-665-4483. Be one of those that are going to sow that gift of of $1,000 one time or $84 a month or a one-time gift of $300 for $25 a month for 12 months and start the process right now of seeing the harvest come into your life. Don't let your will stop the abundance of God coming to this house and to your house. Amen. And you know, everybody can do something. Everybody can do something. What's in your hand? That's been the word for today. You know, the Lord said, in, in Matthew chapter 6, when you pray, when you fast, and when you give. So all of us are called to give. Mm -hmm. But then he says in <laughs> Romans 12, some yes. have a ministry of yes, giving. That's, right. Amen. You, that's, that, right. that's your gift. That You've been blessed. And, and, and I, I do believe there's, there's a few of you watching, not everybody, but a few of you that could plant a, a, a five thousand dollar seed or right. ten thousand dollar seed. Mm -hmm. Maybe one person says, "I I just want to buy that tricaster." Come on, for thirty five thousand right. dollars. Mm -hmm. If if that's your ministry, yeah, that, this is what I love. What it says, Paul says in Romans twelve, if you have the ministry of giving, you just do it with simplicity. Mm -hmm. simplicity. No right. strings attached, no fanfare. Mm -hmm. You're not looking for any accolades. You just do it because that is your ministry. Yeah. The, the, the word says that one of the translations is a hilarious giver. A yeah. hilarious <laughs> giver. Laughing as they yeah, give. Yeah, you know, we always quote cheerful giver, but it, the, one of the translations says hilarious. John from Syracuse, New York is a cheerful giver. He's planted a thousand dollar seed into the ministry. Yeah. Amen. Uh, Edwin, Terry, get oh, okay. ready. I have John. 
Just the first name in the city. Okay, okay. From Mount Pleasant, thank you for your one-time gift of $50. That's and good. here's Wilma from Verona, $1,000. Stacy from Pittsburgh, $1,000. Dennis wow. from Pittsburgh, $1,000. Thank you. Here. Lottie from Pittsburgh, a $100 gift and total household salvation. Mm -hmm. Amen, sister. Mm -hmm. Here's Carol from Sharon, Pennsylvania, $25 a month for 12 months. Three hundred dollars. Hallelujah. Ten Hills, a thousand dollars. Thank you so much. Wow. Edwina from Mechanicsburg, one thousand dollars. Hallelujah. Nice. Susan from Irwin, three hundred dollars. <coughs> Thank you. Jean from Salins Grove, a thousand dollar one time gift. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Thank she can't. You. She can't. She can't attend church anymore, so she. Thanks for the coaching. Wow. God bless you, sister. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mary Ann from Coriopolis, $300 gift, and she's a new partner. Oh, Thank yeah. you so ring the much. Bell. Ring hey, Rick, ring the bell. <laughs> Mary from Monagahela, a one time gift of $300. Mm -hmm. And here's David from Tarenum. There's, There's the $84 a month for 12 months. That's $1,000. Nice. And David's Yay. a brand new partner joining the, the family. All Mo right. Mona from McLaren, $84 a month for 12 months, $1,000 level. Praise God. I have Donna from, okay, I'm going to butcher the name. It's Van Voris. Have you ever heard yeah, of that, Tom? Yes. Okay, it's $300. Thank you, Thank so, you so much. Aww, and Marilyn from Munhall, $300 gift, and she's praying for arthritis in her left shoulder. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to pray at the end. We're going to lay hands and pray in just a minute. Mm -hmm. Paula from Harrisburg, a $1,000 gift tonight. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And Randy from Red Hill. Thank you for your gift of $100, and he's praying for his brother who doesn't believe. So. Well, amen, brother. Mm -hmm. Linda from Pittsburgh, a $300 one-time gift for financial needs. That's the way to give. That's how you get out of financial problems is by giving. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's the way out is by giving, tithing, mm -hmm. and tithing to the church, and then giving offerings. And here's John from Mount Pleasant sowing a one-time gift. And then here is uh, Terrence from North for Sales, sewing a one-time gift. Everybody can do something. Mm -hmm. yep. Dwayne, from, oh, well, Dwayne from Woodland is sewing a $1,000 gift. Now, I had to mention this one here. Mm -hmm. Carol from Georgetown is sending in a check. So you're, you're, it must have hit home. Okay. So yeah. she's sending in a check okay. for $300. Oh, nice, awesome. nice. We have Mary Ann from White Oak, $84 a month. That's a $1,000 gift. Thank you. You're that's, precious that's to us. Mary Ann, yes. she works with us. And yes. She is the sweetest, most godly woman, yes. second to Terry, of course, <laughs> that I've ever met. No, had. I think she thank can rank Marianne. above me. So, you know. Regina from, <laughs> she's been with us a long, a long time. That's right. Regina from Claysburg, Pennsylvania, $84 a month for uh, for. Uh, 12 months, $1,000, $1,008 would be effect. Uh, Gladys from uh, McKeesport, uh, $84 a month for 12 months. And so we're, we're at, we're, yeah, so you Can go I ahead and finish this up. one. Bob sure. and Mary called in uh, from Churchill mm -hmm. um, for a gift of $300, and they both are suffering the effects of a stroke. And so we speak mm -hmm. blessing yes. over you, and we command that stroke and the effects yes. of it to be reversed in yes. the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yes, brother. Yeah. But see, there's a lot of people like that that can't get out to church. They're homebound, but the church is coming yes, to, them to them through the power mm -hmm. of Christian television. Yes. You're so right. We as churches, as pastors of churches, we don't go to everyone's door and walk in their home and preach the gospel, but Christian television does. It That's goes right. where we can't go. Mm -hmm. And all of these folks have called in tonight for prayer in this program for prayer. I wish I could read every one of your names and, and call you out, but we can't. But we are going to pray. But I do want to again say, to at least Cynthia, Amen. congratulations Amen. and welcome Amen. to the yes. kingdom. Welcome Amen. to the family. It's, it is. Pastor right. Jay, the anointing's on you tonight, brother. Will you put all these in here and lead us in a Amen. prayer for all of those folks? Mm -hmm. Thank Father, you, in the name of Jesus, thank you for each person that responded to your word. Yes, God. And thank you, Father God, for the anointing of the Holy Spirit that's yes, going God. across these airwaves, Father yes, God. God. That every one of these needs, that Lord, there's an anointing for a new season yes, God. coming into their life, Father. That they're going to kiss the past goodbye yes, God. and come into a new tomorrow, Father God. Whether it's the effects of a stroke, whether it's a new business, a ministry, whatever it is, oh God. We lay our hands on these and we declare the blessing of the Lord that makes rich and adds no, no sorrow, sorrow with it to be upon their life. That favor that removes the 
the labor will be released into them and that yes, they will God. walk into their new season yes, on dry ground. In yes. Jesus' yes. name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. amen and amen. Thank you, you guys. Amy, Thank you. your first time on this kind Ooh, of program. First time. Yes. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. <laughs> Ring the bell. <laughs> Pastor Jerry, thank you for bringing the word tonight. Yes, that's we appreciate good. your word. Mm -hmm. And Pastor Gary, thank you as always. Mm -hmm. And Terry. Oh, thank, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Being, I we're glad that you're <laughs> part of this family. Thank you for being in our family. Thank you for standing with us. Thank you for fighting with us. Yeah. Not, not, not with us personally, but fighting with us as we battle the devil. Let's go to music. Jaron Davis and Kindred Souls as they are a blessing to us. God bless you guys and take it away, Jared. Oh! 